Nipungue Nipungue Ungezeke Wewe Ungezeke One more time Mimi nipungue Nipungue Wewe Ungezeke Wewe Ungezeke Mimi nipungue Wewe
bali wewe uwe na kiasi katika mambo yote. Fumilia mambaya, fanya kazi ya muhubiri wa ijiri. Timiliza huduma yako na tuombe. Tuna kushukuru baba yetu wa mbinguni hadhuri asubuhi jema kwa sababu ya wema na fadhili zako. Tunasema ni asante bwana ni kwa sababu bwana umefanya tena tangu siku saba bwana zimeisha tukutane tena. Tunalinua jina yako bwana kusema ni asante ni kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu, wewe ni baba wetu. Tuwajikabidhi mikononi mwetu bwana ili bwana tunapoanza hii ibada uwe pamoja nasi bwana. Tuongoze kwa kila jabu bwana na utuangalie bwana vile tumeingia hii kwa hizi milango bwana tusitoke hivyo bwana. Ni kwa sababu bwana tunatarajia kukutana na wewe bwana. Tunakuomba uwe mwanzo mwema bwana tutakapomalizia bwana kwa hakika tutasema tumekuona. Tuongoze ombi yetu ya imani asubuhi jema katika jina Yesu tumeomba na pia kuamini. Tuendelee na kumsifu bwana. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Mwangalie vizuri. Turn to your neighbor, look at them. Tell them karibu katika nyumba ya Bwana. Waambie karibu katika nyumba ya Bwana. Look at the other neighbor. Mpe smile. Give them a smile. Mwambie welcome to the house of God. Hallelujah. Are you ready to praise God this morning? Has the Lord been good to you? Mungu amekuponya, amekutendea maajabu. Haya, let's clap our hands as we praise God this morning. Haya, makofi mzuri kwa Yesu. Tumwambie Yesu kwa sababu anaweza yote. Atatutendea. Hallelujah. Makofi mzuri kwa Yesu. Oh. Mumbie Yesu mumbie Mumbie Yesu mumbie Onoweza yote Yesu mumbie Hata kushindia Yesu mumbie Mumbie Yesu mumbie Mumbie Yesu mumbie Onoweza yote Yesu mumbie Hata kushindia yote Mwambi, mwambi ya Yesu 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 Atakushindia One, two, three, four. Shangwa na vika la gale kwa yesu. Aya makofi kwa yesu. Hot makofi ya chu.
Andaweza, andaweza Tuchangili, hey Kwa shango e kubo, hallelujah Tuchangili, hey Kwa shango e kubo, hallelujah Jie, bwana Wama, bwana Jie, bwana Jie Yesu 
Seite.
Kwenye kiti tenzi Umejitwika utukufu Wewe ni Mungu Oh, 
Tosha, una Tosha, una Tosha, una Tosha, una Tosha, kwenye kiti chako cha enzi baba wewe ukisema ndio hakuna anayesema hapana tunalinua jina lako asubuhi ya leo tukisema ubarikiwe Mungu wetu kwa sababu fadhili zako ni za milele wewe unatuangalia na huruma umejawa na wapenzi Mungu wetu asubuhi ya leo tunalinua jina lako tungiungana na wazee ishirini na wanne wanaozunguka kiti chako cha enzi usiku na mchana wakisema hakuna mwingine wa kuabudiwa isipokuwa wewe Mungu wetu tunaungana na viumbe vi vine vilio hai vinasema mtakatifu mtakatifu ni wewe Mungu wetu asante Mungu wetu tunalinua jina lako baba wewe ukisema hata mawimbi yanasikia ukisema hata milima yatetemeka nani kama wewe tunalinua jina lako na kusema asante tumekuja mbele zako tukinyenyekea Mungu wetu tukitubu dhambi zetu kwa kuwa neno lako linasema tukisema hatuna dhambi baba tunakuwa tukisema uongo tunajua tumejiongoza Mungu wetu tumekataa kusikia na kufuata njia zako tumefikiria mambo ambayo yakupendezi tunatubu dhambi zetu asubuhi ya leo ewe Mungu umejawa na huruma baba tunasema utusamehe na utuoshe na damu yako ya, ya na damu ya mwanao Yesu Kristo damu ambayo inaongea maneno mengi na mema juu ya maisha yetu tukija mbele zako Mungu wetu wacha maombi yetu ya kukubalike Mungu wetu tunasema asante asubuhi ya leo kwa bana baba ilikupendeza kutupa uhai ilikupendeza kutuamsha asubuhi ya leo ilikupendeza kutuita kwenye nyumba yako ili tukusifu na kutuabudu tunasema ni asante kwa yote umetupa umetupa amani Mungu wetu umetupa nchi ambayo tuna uhuru wa kukuabudu tunasema ni asanti na tulaniinua jina lako kabidhi nchi yetu mkononi mwako tukianza mwaka huu mwangu wetu tunasema Mungu nena maneno mema juu yetu kama wa Kenya tunakabidhi viongozi wetu Mungu wetu na tunaomba uwaongoze wacha roho yako roho wako mtakatifu wakawanenea wakilala na wakiamka Mungu kumbuka kanisa letu kanisa lolote duniani kote hata ili letu la makadara Mungu tunaomba uwepo wako ukue nasi tunaomba Mungu wetu uamshe roho zetu hata tukianza huu mwaka Mungu wetu tukue baba tunataka kukusifu tukue watu wanakuomba na kutafuta uso wako kila siku 
Tunakumbuka wengi ambao mili yao inawasumbua asubuhi ya leo. Wengi ni wagonjwa Mungu mili inawasumbua. Wengi ni magonjwa ya roho Mungu wetu. Wewe ulie na huruma, wewe ulie jana nguvu. Tunakuomba uangalie kila mmoja wetu. Hata ikiwa kuna mmoja wetu amekuja leo katika nyumba yako akisema baba nataka uponyaji. Baba tunaomba asitoke kwa madhabahu baba vile alikuja na kwa sababu Mungu utamuona Mungu utamguza pali ambapo ana uchungu na utaponya hiyo roho Mungu wetu. Tunathikabidhi mnenaji wa neno mkononi mwako. Baba tunaomba utayarishe roho zetu kwa sababu tunajua neno lako halitoki na likarudi tupu lakini lazima itimize mapenzi yako. Wacha mapenzi yako ikatimie Mungu wetu siku ya leo. Tunawakumbuka watoto wetu ambao wako karibu kurudi shuleni mwao Mungu tunaomba ukue nao tunaomba Mungu wetu roho wako mtakatifu wa waongoze lakini ndio maana wakienda shuleni Mungu wetu wataweza kuelewa Mungu tuna, tunaomba hata wazazi wakikulilia siku ya leo Mungu utafungua milango ili wapate karo ya kurudisha watoto wao shuleni tunakushukuru Mungu wetu tunaomba utulize roho zetu ili tusikie Mungu wetu ile umetuletea siku ya leo na hii ni ombi letu la imani katika jina letu la Yesu Kristo aliye bwana na mkozi wetu bwana wetu liye binguni falme wako na uje mapenzi yako mtimize kote duniani kama uko mbinguni utupe leo riziki yetu utusamehe makosa yetu kama nasi tunavyowasamehe walio tukosea usitutie majaribuni lakini tuokoe na yule muovu kwa kuwa falme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu sasa na hata milele. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe huko nyuma. Ah, sasa wakati huu ningependa tuwalike watoto wote waje hapa mbele ili mchungaji akaweza kunena pamoja nao. Watoto wote kujeni hapa mbele. Wale wanajilete na wale ambao wamebebwa. <laughs> e, mujipange vizuri, mujipange vizuri. Naenda wa nini na ningetaka usukume ile nini kidogo? Oh, sorry. Aya watoto karibuni karibuni wale wengine wakikuja leo nani yako na presentation Eh hey, leo Hakuna Eh hey. Uwaza presentation Mhm Uwaza point Uwaza Bible verse You decide yes come Eh uh -huh. John chapter 15 verse 12 it says this is my commandment that you love one another as I loved you. Ah God's commandment we love one another another. Yes, thank you. Nani mwingine? Ah kuja. Eh. Eh. Njamba ya ha. James chapter 4 verse 10. It's James chapter 4 verse 10. It says, humble yourself before the Lord, he will lift you up. Ah, humble yourself before the Lord. Humbling, humbling. Hey, nani mwingine? Eh, hey, unajua nikuwa nataka kusema, vijana leo, hey, wasichana mabibu. Eh, hey, lakini msichana menjitokeza, my friend. Hey. A man without self-control is a wall without, is a wall that can break. Ah, makofi kwake. Nani mwingine wa mwisho sasa? Wa mwisho kabisa. Eh. Sasa ngemu itakuwa ndiro. Psalms 19 that, verse 33 and the Bible says, "Teach me, Lord, the meaning of your laws and I will obey them at all times." Thank you. So, sasa mchezo leo ni ndiro. Kwa sababu vijana ni wawili, wasichana ni wawili. Si ndio? Lakini wakati ule mwingine tulifinyiria wasichana Okay, thank you very much. Nachukua nafasi siki ya leo kumuambia kwamba niko na furaha kwa vile tumekua pamoja nanyi kwa miaka mingi. Miaka mingapi? 
who can remember how many years? Five years. Hii, makofi kwa wake. Na sasa, kuningana na kanuni, the rules and the traditions of our church, PCA, ni ya kwamba, mchungaji anakaa kwa parokia for a maximum of five years. Ispokuwa kuwe na njambo ambalo ni hawezi akazindisha hapo. So kwa sababu niko na miaka tano hapa na tumekuwa pamoja nanyi na nyinyi watoto wazuri we have never complained because of you. Leo ibanda ya siki ya leo ni kumwambia bye. Bye. Lakini hata nikienda tutakuwa tunaonana. Si ndio hiyo? I will be coming to say hi to you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But what I want to repeat is what I've been saying each and every Sunday. Kwa sababu mimi nakuwa nanyi kila Jumapili, kila Jumapili. Hakuna kanisa ingine ya makandara ni hii peke yake. Is that you take advantage of the opportunity that is there today. Ya kwamba wewe kama mtoto uko na mzazi wako ambaye anataka na anapenda usome. Ufanye nini? Ufanye nini? Sisi kama watoto tuko na wazazi ambao wako na mambo makubwa. Lakini mkumbuke ni mi uwe na muambia kwamba ayo mambo makubwa ambayo wazazi wenu wako nayo sio yenu. Ni ya waza? Sasa mambo yenu ni nyinyi mtayafanya. Na kuweza kufanya mambo makubwa kama wazazi wenu ni mkubali kusoma kwa sababu mko na wazazi na kanisa nzuri ambayo iko tayari kumsomesha. Kama sasa tuko na wiki moja ndio murundi shule, si ndio hiyo? Some of you ngoma back on 23rd, others on 24th. So it's just one week. Na tusema kwa huyo muda mrefu ambao mlikuwa nyumbani, ulikuwa muda wa kufanya nini? Revision. Si ndio hiyo? Na kusoma. Kwa sababu mkirudi tu the first week mutiani. Kwa hivyo na muomba muendelee kusoma vizuri, kusoma vizuri kwa sababu kanisa letu linamhitaji sana, linamtegemea. Hao wazee mnaona wako na miaka mindo michache sana ndio wawe viongozi wa kanisa hili. So very soon ninyi mtakuwa viongozi wa kanisa. Na kanisa inataka viongozi ambao wameelimi. Yes. Kwa hivyo Mungu awe nanyi naendelea kumulinda na kumuonekania Sasa that when you be of age God will use you ndio afikie malengo yake kupitia nyinyi Sawa sawa Yes I wish you well I wish you well I wish you well Wazazi tusimame tuombe nao watoto So kama kabla ya kuomba tukiri imani ya mitume imani imani na muamini want to start akateswa zamani za point of latu akasuludiwa akafa akazikwa akashuka pali pa wakusiku Mwenyezi Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakuja mbele yako asubuhi njema tukisema ni asante kwa vile wewe uliona ikikupendeza utupatie nafasi siki ya leo sisi kama wazazi na watoto wetu ndio tukuje katika madhabahu hii ya makandara ndio tuweze tukakutana na wewe sio uwezo wetu sio 
nguvu zetu lakini ni uwezo wako Mwenyezi Mungu. Na kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa mapenzi ambayo unaendelea kutuonyesha kwa sababu we unaendelea kutupenda na upendo mkuu. Na hiyo ndiyo sababu we mwenyewe Mungu ulitoa mwanao Yesu Kristo ndiyo afe msarabani kwa ajili yetu. Ndiyo aweze akatukomboa kutokana na madhambi yale ambayo tulikuwa tumefanya. Mungu hao watoto ambao wako mbele yako na mbele yetu tunawakabidhi mikononi mwako Mwenyezi Mungu kama mumba wao ndio uendelee kukaa na wao uendelee kuwaongoza uendelee kuwalinda ndio waendelee kukua vizuri ukiwapenda kama mumba wao wazazi waendelee kuwapenda nasi kama kanisa tuendelee kuwapenda we as the fraternity of makandara tuko na shukulani kwa sababu Mungu umetupatia kanisa kubwa jinsi hii and when we see these children alone we are very happy kwa sababu tunajua kanisa letu liko na kesho yake even at that particular time when we the only people who not be there we have people who continue with this church na sasa mwenyezi Mungu au wazazi ambao wamesimama wako na shukurani kwa sababu ya vile umewaonakania ukawapa watoto mwenyezi Mungu ukawawezesha kuwalea vizuri na sasa unaendelea kuwawezesha kuwasomesha but lord we cannot forget that there are some who are going through difficult time hawana uwezo wa kupatia watoto chakula kile wangependa kuwapea kuna wengine hata nguo za mavazi hawawezi wakawanunia nguo nzuri kuna wengine mwenyezi Mungu watoto wao huwa wanafukushwa shule mara kwa mara kwa sababu hawana kalo ya watoto wao lakini we mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu we ndiye mpeanaji mkuu ombi letu ni ya kwamba as these children prepare to open their, uh, the, the, the school on 23 and 24 Mungu upewe wazazi wao mahitaji ambayo wanataka ndio waweze wakagaramia elimu yao watoto hatungependa watoto wetu wende ukaa nyumbani wakati wale wengine wako shuleni na Mungu kama vile huwa tunakuomba kama kuna zawadi ama if there is any blessing that you have kept in store for last lord tufikishie kupitia hawa watoto wabariki naendea kusimama na wao na yule mwovu shetani Mungu kwa sababu yapendi kuona watoto wako wakikaa vizuri jinsi hii kama kuna mipango ambayo anapangia watoto ndio wasiweze wakarudi shule kama vile wazazi na serikali imepanga katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakataa hiyo mipango kwa sababu shetani hakuna mtoto aliumba au watoto ni wako Mungu kana wao endelea kuwaongoza and to the leadership of this church we are very grateful lord when we see these children continue enabling them so that alone they will continue taking care of them tusikie mwenyezi Mungu tusikie mwenyezi Mungu na tubariki nasi hatutasahau kamwe hata wakati mmoja kukwambia ni asante hii ni la imani tu na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini amen god bless you god be with you thank you ah uh, asante tu wapigie makofi watoto wetu wanapotoka nasi tutasimama wanapojitahidi kutoka na sisi tusimame ili tumsifu bwana tuendeni askari wimbo namba 69 69 tukiongozwa na wanakwaya na wao wakiendelea kutoka ili waende kwa classes basi tuende
Ah tuketi na sasa wakati huu ni wako msifu Bwana. Ningetaka wana youth alafu tuingie kwa guild. Alafu kuna watoto wale wa VBS na tutamalizia na wana kwaya. Wana youth na tujaribu kuharakisha kidogo. Praise God. Praise God. Ah, kama unaniona nipongee mkono. Ah, ah, ah. Hallelujah. Ha, sisi kama youth tunataka tuwafanyie and we present a song to you and to God. Ah, uh, ni ya kikuyu. Ambia mwenzako ni ya gekuyu. <laughs> gekuyu. Okay. <laughs> so, tutaifanya in a difference kidogo. Sawa sawa. Yes. So, we just do this. Uh. Listen. Nego kagya bugere ryo Na jo yo itare yo no Yeke no gitare kyo no Kumare ria de yo biro Nevoi ko ira gata pura E que no nene me chode Je so que era carida Mo de no show a que ya Nego cagia Nego cagia pugerelio Na do yo etare yo no Que que no que etare que yo no Kumare ria de yo biro え、こいらがたぶら、え、けいのねれめしょで。じゃそけいらかりだ。もでにょしょわけ。けもねい、けもねよれはとみれ。にえてめかねで。けもねい、けもねよれはとみれ。にゃららえけのじゃで。落ちれこんのなごちこのおがこはなたよ。じゃそけいえらかりだ。でのよでろれいれ。けらちゃつ。Listen to this. Alright, come a kahu ha shoro, ma ke mo toka mo hiki. Fara fara chaga hafu, shikai hora ke no deru. Ke go shoge ko ira tabura, e ke no ne ne me shode. Tadaru me ro ge o me ge. Make go shamo da. Arai ka toi ne. Arai ka makahu ha shoro. Make mo toga mo hiki. Para para shada hafu. Shikai hora ke no deru. Ke go shoge ko ira tabu. Ke ke no de no ne ne me shode. Jeso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Wapigeni makofi tena. Thank you wana youth. Sasa tuko kwa wana guild women's guild. Mego huko. Twinagi keno areru ya twinagi keno negoko. Mudenya ne monene.
Ah. Asante, asante, asante. Ah, tuwapigie makofi tena. Good, good. Ah. Wakati huu mchungaji ukinikubalia tulikuwa tumesema watoto wakuje baadaye lakini nimesikia wako hapa vestry. Sasa ningeomba waingie wamalize. Watoto wa VBS. Praise God. Praise God Church. Sisi tumesimama hapa kama watoto kuwashukuru kwa sababu ya kutukubalia tukuje kusoma VBS for the three days and our presentation will be about what we learned during the three days. I hope you will enjoy and be blessed. Praise God. Praise God of you. In front of you is PCA Makadara Church School, ready to present to you the fruit of the Holy Spirit that we learned on VBS. So sit back, relax, chiki chiki akola, and have a banana smile. Welcome. I 
fruit of the Holy Spirit that we learned three days when we were VBS. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God again. Kamajina ni Banis, Stacy, Blessing, and Evelyn. Tuko hapa kwa niyaba ya Sunday School. Tayari kusoma barua kwa mpenda wetu mchungaji iliyoandikwa na watoto wa Sunday School. Kwa mpendwa mchungaji mbaka imwala. Pokea salamu zetu kemkem. Kama mchanga wa jangwani sahara. Tuna, tuna matumaini kama tai kuwa umzima na buheri wa afya. Sisi wakemba wa Sunday School. Tu wazima kama siha na imara kama chuma chakua. Sababu ya kukuandikia barua hii ni hofu na majonzi yaliyotupata tuliposikia kuondoka kwa au kuamshwa kwako mchungaji wetu mahiri baba wa watoto wote wa kanisa tunakupenda na kukuenzi kwa miaka mitano umetuombea umetutembelea madarasani kuhakikisha shetani muovu hajatuteka nyara sote kwa pamoja tuwasema kongole kongole mchungaji wetu mbaka imara mahubiri yako imwala tungali tunayasikia masikioni mwetu wakati wote ukishika mikrofoni sauti yako nzito umtetemesha shetani na huyo akimbia kuzi, kuzimu Tuna kuhakikishia sisi watoto wa Sunday school mbegu ulioipanda hakika tutayatunza na kuyadulisha Popote uendapo tunakutakia kilala heri tunakuombea jalali anayekujali akujalie kilala heri afya njema na maisha marefu ya kuandame hadi tutakaponana tena kwa heri mchungaji wetu imwala goodbye goodbye our dear pastor goodbye goodbye our dear pastor we love you and we shall miss you we love you and we shall miss you tunakushukuru mwenyezi Mungu kwa hao watoto wa Chasi siku ambao wamesimamia wale wengine hata ingawa nitawaaga Mungu unipatie shauku katika moyo wangu kila wakati niwe na wakumbuka so that Lord I'll be committing them to you to stand with them and now because I'm leaving them Lord the one who is coming Lord I'm praying that you will walk this journey with them give them father for it is in Jesus name Amen. peace of God be with you peace of God be with you uh, thank you wana choir sasa ni wakati wenu asante sana wana Sunday school wana choir choir
Tuwapigie makofi jamani vizuri Naomba wale ambao wako pale nyuma ambao wanapatia watu mahali pa kuketi hapa mbele kuna viti Sio vizuri watu wafinyane huko nyuma na bado hapa kuna viti Yes ili tukaweza kutoshea Basi wakati huu na shukuru wenye wote ambao wameimba wanakwaya na pia watoto Apio na youth na guild. Sasa wakati huu nao nitampalia bwana Guitui kwa matangazo. Bwana asifiwe. Karibuni sana kwa ibada yetu ya siku ya leo kabla ya, ya matangazo ningetaka kujua kama tuko na wageni wageni wote nitawauliza wasimame ndio tuwakaribishe ikiwa wewe ni mgeni na kuuliza usimame tuko na wageni siku ya leo e, tuko na wageni siku ya leo karibuni sana nitauliza kwa ya, ya kanisa iwakaribishe waendelee kusimama wakaribishwe na kwaya Okay, karibuni sana wageni wetu ikiwa mungetaka kuendelea kuwa nasi mukiona ashas mutaelezwa vile mnaweza kuwa members wetu ikiwa mutarudi kwenu muende na salamu zetu na ikiwa mko na salamu tumezipokea this zile zitakuwa duty next week ni bethisaida wakati wa ingi service na alpha wakati wa kiswahili service Bethi Saida English Service na Alpha wakati wa Kiswahili Service kutakuwa na Holy Communion wakati wa Youth um, um, wakati wa Youth Service Holy Communion during Youth Service Mushugaji wetu mpya Levere Dr Titus Kefara will be atapokelewa hapa siku ya alhamisi tarehe 19 mwezi wa januari na itakuwa ni saa tano. group leaders wote wale wamechaguliwa all group leaders wanatakiwa wawe hapa 
siku hiyo kabla ya saa tano. All group leaders elected group leaders from all the groups. Wawe hapa siku ya Thursday tarehe 19 kabla ya saa tano ndio tumpokee mshugaji wetu. Wale wote wanasoma counseling na wale wagetaka kujiunga na masomo ya counseling wanaulizwa wakutane na coordinator boardroom tukimaliza hii baada ya Kiswahili kutakuwa na congregation board congregation board eh, siku ya Jumamosi tarehe na moja na itakuwa kama kawaida saa moja asubuhi members wote wa congregation board wafike saa moja asubuhi pia umas guild watakuwa na mkutano yao ya kila mwezi siku hiyo ya jumamosi tarehe na moja na mkutano yao itaanza saa tatu itaanza saa tatu asubuhi Members wote wa Baraka District wanaulizwa wakutane kwa Academy baada ya Kiswahili service ya hii service ya leo. Tuko na advertisement Tuko na advertisements ya kwanza advertisement for the post of junior secondary teachers PC Makadara Academy ndio ina advertise tugetaka kuajiri walimu wa kufundisha junior secondary na kwa sababu advertisement ni devu sitasoma yote those interested wakikuja kwa ofisi ya kanisa au ofisi ya academy wataelezwa vizuri walimu wa junior secondary tunataka wale wamesoma chemistry physics na biology wale wamesoma mathematics business studies literature english literature wale wamesoma physical education na sports wale wamesoma IT au ICT walimu wale wamesoma music home science kiswahili history geography CRE Na hawa walimu ni lazima wawe ni graduate wako na bachelor of education au wawe wako na diploma in education secondary option na tunataka wale wote wagetaka kujiunga nasi as teachers wa watume application kwa email address ya kanisa au hard written applications iperekwe kwa ziadikwe to the chairman board of management through the head teacher PCA Makadara Academy na ziletwe kwa academy au kwa kanisa kabla ya tarehe ya mandi tarehe 23 pia tuko na advertisement for the post of P1 teachers stroke ECD diploma teachers tunataka kuajiri walimu wa P1 na pia au walimu wa ECD wale wako na ECD diploma na ni wale wa kufundisha grade 1 to grade 3 nao tunataka wawe ni P1 teachers au wamefanya diploma in ECD na wawe ni registered na TSC na wawe wako na experience ya miaka mitatu kufundisha loa primary they must be born again christians na hayo mambo mengine ukikuja utaelezwa ni mambo mengi yale tugetaka na pia tunataka wale wagetaka kuapply hiyo kazi wafanye hivyo tarehe by 23rd of by Wednesday 18th of January CO 23rd by Wednesday 18th of January 2023 
ndio ndio waitwe interview wale watakuwa shortlisted finally tulikuwa tumetagaza post ya head teacher wa PCA Makadara Academy Ngudu na although deadline ilifika we still if you are able to apply you can still apply hatujafanya interview na tunataka wawe ni male teachers ni wanaume wawe na degree bachelor of education a born again christian na wawe na experience at least 3 years in in uh, school management if you are interested in uh, becoming a head teacher at PC Makadara Academy Ngundu send your application to the same address on or before 23rd of December 2023 thank you for listening to me majina yangu ni Peter Guitoi na Kristo ni mwokozi na bwana yangu we now I would now like to welcome the chairman Nae Aendele from there. Kanisa Hamjambo. Hamjambo. God is good and all the time able to salimiane ya hewani. Ah uh, good. Ah uh, kwa wageni naitwa Kamau Muhori na asubuhi nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana maisha ni mwangu ah uh, yangu nataka kumwambia ah uh, ilio na mwanzo ni lazima iwe na mwisho hiyo ndio nimekuja nikumwambia ah uh, kwanza nataka kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu tumekuwa na wakati mzuri sana na wa Reverend na kwa sababu siku imepika ni lazima tumuachilie ili awende akatumikie wegi wengine si tupigie bwana Mungu makofi yeah. ni vizuri kwa appreciate yeah. kwa sababu ni miaka mingi nakumbuka mjukaji alikuja hapa uh, tulikuwa kwa ofisi na bwana Gutoi na tumefanya tume, tume kasi na yeye hiyo miaka mingi nikatoka tena nikarudi kwa hivyo tulikuwa na kiongozi mhubiri kama vile watoto wamesema na sasa hakuna kitu tuweza sema si ndio kwa hii kwa sababu wakati ukifika ni lazima uiki tena hii ni presbyteni church of vista na ni mimi nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu mjugaji umeacha history kutoka parokia tuwe parokia makandara hakuna mchugaji amemaliza five yes si tupigie bwana Yesu makofi na mchugaji makofi amevuja history ya nikoitiko ya nikoitiko nikoitiko alikaa nne na nusu lakini huyu tumekuwa na yeye more than five yes si huyo ni Mungu kwa hivyo tunataka kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ametupatia mjugaji tufanye na yeye na pahali alitu, alitupata hatuko hapo si ndio amefanya kasi mingi na wacha nimwambie hata nyinyi mnajua mjugaji ni mfanyi kazi kitu ya pili na mpenda ni rafiki ni mtu wa kuingia na watu si ndio na sijui tutasema namna gani kuona mwingine kama mtu anaingiana na watu ukiwa na sida anakutebelea ukimuita hakuambia kikesho anakuja saa hiyo ni mtu tumekaa na yeye nakubuka wakati wa covid Mjugaji hata ukimpigia simu anakuwa anakuwa anakuambia uko wapi. Ha gari. Hatukuwa hakukuwa kikosa kwa hii kanisa. 
Anatuambia ananipigia na niuliza watu wamekula. Ni watu wa ni familia gapi siko na, na shida ya kwa sababu ya covid. Tunafanya ananiambia tupanye tutafanya namna gani. Tunakaa chini tunajadiliana na hiyo wakati kaisha. Wakati alikuwa wakati alikuwa alikuja hapa tulikuwa na mashida kadhaa. Si ndio mnakumbuka? Lakini amekuja tumesofu hizo mashida tukaisha. Development amekuwa nazo. Amekuwa amemline ya kwanza. Hata saa hii sijui lakini Mungu atatupatia mwingine kama yeye kuna project iko siko mbele yetu. Kuna members waliniuliza juzi sasa hii project hii, hii project tunatuambia utafanya namna gani lakini Mungu atatengeneza ata, ata ji njia kwa hivyo mjugaji sisi sijui vile utasema lakini tunakupenda hata ukienda tunakupenda si ile upendo wa bahari how members wanakupenda hata sisi leaders ametufanyia mengi si ndio pali tulikuwa si si pali tuko tumeona akitoshika mkono siku ya leo tunamwadana tunataka kumwachilia si kumwambia ende hapa ni lazima waya kiku kwetu kwa nyumba tukiwa na buzi ni lazima ku akuje si ndio yeah lakini tumwachilia ende afanye kopare zingine na aye huko aende na maye awapelekee maendeleo kama ile ametupelekea mujugaji obiletu hii congregation tumefanya mambo mengi na wewe usituachilie tukikuita chukua simu ni ya kukualika si ndio members ni ya kumulia kumualika kukiwa na mazuri kwa sababu mazuri itakuwa kama vile tumekuwa nayo mara nyingine itakuwa mabaya lakini mchungaji wewe ni one of us so ukiona simu ya watu wa makandara chukua kwa sababu tunakupenda na pahali tuko ni wewe umetufikisha Mungu akiwa mbele kwa hivyo nataka kusema ya kwamba wakati huu ni wakati mzuri tuachilie mchungaji aende akatumike pahali pengine na sisi tunapoendelea kujitayarisha kupokea mchungaji mgeni uh, tufumilie tuseme Yesu ni bwa Yesu ni bwana na tunapofanya hivyo tukubuke yale mchungaji amekuwa akituambia yale ametusomesha yale ameweka ametuweka tusiyasahau praise god Praise God. Tunajua tuko anatuambia hii viti lazima siwekwe nini? Anatuambia hao watoto wanataka pahali pa kuo. Kuopea. Kwa hivyo uh, tusilale tuonyeshe hiyo moto ametuahakisha uh, kwa hii Paris iendelee naye Mungu. Hayo wengine tutoyaachie Mungu. Mjugaji nataka kukualika ili useme jabu ukifanya introduction ya your family then after that nitaendelea kutoka hapo Asante sana bwana Kamau Kabuli ya ku fanya some introduction leo acha niseme ya kwamba kama vile vile bwana ngutu amesema we are not discriminating lindis sababu amesema the advert ya mwalimu mkuu kule ngundu lazima awe amir wazazi it's because kule ngundu walimu wote ni wanawake we have only one one male teacher there just one na hata watoto wamempandika njina 
in fact it is kwa hivyo tulionelea for the harmony of that school for the harmony si akina mama mnanjijua you can imagine a school of more than 15 teachers na wote ni akina mama kwa hivyo tukaonea ni vizuri atitue na an end teacher who is a male there so members if you know somebody who has a, a, a degree in education just tell that person to write na ton sio ngundo peke yake hata wengine ambao tume advertise wanangu itoi ni vizuri wajue ya kwamba tungependa tuwe na walimu wengi wanaume kwa sababu watoto wetu wanakosa um, the role model of uh, father head father figure head kwa hivyo tutafanya hivyo i don't want to be emotional because mm -hmm. wacha familia ba mama murugi na muende kujeni i mean luck wants to say today Mwende, we have a few members of the family who have been able to come. Who have been able to come. Najua familia yetu ni kubwa. Huwa namwambia we are my father has 14 sons and 11 daughters. Yeah. Si huwa namwambia 14 sons and 11 daughters kwa hivyo niliona nikiwaambia wakuje nitakuwa mkutano hapa so today wale wamekuja ni hawa wachache kani si um, mimi ndiye kinjana hao wengine ni wasichana na when we came here sababu i was posted here in 2017 october but i reported officially on january in january 2018 na tulikuja na mama muende na murugi alikuwa muende alikuwa hapo viki alikuwa hapo lakini yuko kijana akuwa na wale wasichana wakuwa na from that time it has not been possible members mama murugi kuwa hapa makandara haingewezekana Number one, because of the time that I normally come. Mimi in the history of me being in Makanda, I have never been late. Mimi sinjawai. Nguito hii anajua hata kwa chama. Mimi have never asked for an apology. Atendekera hito ndo nenda shererwa no. Nie on Sundays I normally leave kwa nyumba. Late late sana nilikuwa nimechelewa sana some minutes to seven. na mama murugi awezi because of our condition sio ugonjwa it's a condition kwa sababu akiamuka awezi akaamuka sasa anatoka anaenda kitchen anapika chai tunakunywa bula bula hapana lazima kwanza atulie akae akae hata shule shuri ambaye alienda alikutana na malaika mwalimu mkamba ambaye anamuelewa because sometimes anaenda shule saa nne so because of that atungeweza kuwa tunakuja kila siku na yeye hata leo ayani tuliva amekuja tukua tumeanza ibanda na awezi akanjilete maka unajua wasichana wako mbali mbali kwa hivyo that's the reason why she has not been coming but all through singeweza anything kama kuwa my supporter she has been very very supportive kwa hivyo mnamjua lakini nitampatia nafasi ya ongea kidogo wakati tulikuja huko tulikuja na muende na muende alikuwa peke yake sasa leo mimi naona ameshika mtoto Mwende alifanya harusi tukiwa hapa makandara. Brothers and sisters, the support that we received from you. We miss once to say thank you. Na sasa Mungu amembariki ako na kijana. Ako na kijana. 
Our first born najua na mwambia niko na msichana ambaye ni wa my daughter wa my sister anaitwa Caroline Karegi in our records ye yeah, ndiye first born though is not biological kwa sababu kimeru msichana kipata mtoto akiwa nyumbani akiolewa aweze akaenda na huyo mtoto anaachwa nyumbani kwa hivyo wakati my sister alipata mtoto huyo mtoto aliachwa nyumbani kwa hivyo mimi ndiye nilichukua akawa kama mtoto wangu Hakuna watoto watatu na wote ni vijana. Wote ni vijana. Kwa familia yetu because my father was a polygamist watoto wa my mother wote walikuwa wanapata vijana. Fasi mboni wetu akona vijana kumi. Yes. Second mboni akona vijana kumi. Yes. Sasa muende akona kijana anaitwa Giovanni. Giovanni. Sasa huyo ndiye second born wetu na yako na first born wake. Sasa Sasa last born wetu ni mweni ni nyakio vike nyakio. Yeye ndio kambibi yetu na with thank God that uh, amemaliza shule. She is awaiting graduation. Wakati alifanya mtihani form 4 Aliniambia ndani mimi siendi university kwanza nataka kufanya diploma. Nikamwambia hivyo umesema ndivyo. Kwa hivyo alikame ya kambili akifanya diploma. Kumaliza sasa kaingia. Sasa last year ndiye amemaliza nyakio. Niko na msichana mwingine hata yeye anaitwa nyakio. Ndiye huyu huwa tunakaa naye eh, wakati mama Murugi tuliona awezi kazi sana because of hero yake tukamwambia akuje tukae na yeye so kukuja ukae miezi mbili tukaona hapana sio vizuri tukae naye akikaa kwa nyumba tukampeleka shule na yeye amemaliza wanaeso asifiwe si is awaiting graduation huyu anaitwa Marion Unajua saa zingine hata majina inanichanganya. Anaitwa Marion, Marion ndiye anakaa na Giovanni and uh, si Zambaluya. Kwa hivyo tukiongea kiruga ki yetu aweze akaelewa. Lakini mwambia as long as she has joined us because she is part of us, lazima aelewe lugha. Lazima. Na kulingana mtindo wetu akilea huyu akifika kiwango fulani hawezi kakaa kwa nyumba lazima asome bwana Yesu asifiwe sasa first born ni morugi morugi atuko na yeye mi kama kuna mali nimebarikiwa nikiwa ni makandara bwana Yesu asifiwe if there is a place where i have been blessed na mimi sio kudanganya hata mama morugi huwa tunaongea tunasema hivyo it is when we are we we this time when we have been in makandara murugi first born yake ni kinjana alichukua unaona wamechukua laini ya lakini protocol imevunjwa on that first december of 2022 murugi alipata mtoto msichana that first sasa huyu amezaliwa na murugi Unajua alikuwa analeta vunjo anaziniambia unajua wewe ndiye umezaliwa Sababu my, um, our first born sister amenizaa mimi Huyo Kalegi amenizaa mimi Kwa hivyo mimi unajua ni sasa amezaliwa Brothers and sisters in the Lord Me I love you I sincerely love Makandala And when i came here the period that we have stayed with you i have made more friends than elsewhere mimi niko na marafiki wengi makanda kuliko unajua bwana kadhairo me i enjoyed the ministry as an old man nikiwa mzee kwa hivyo nimetumika parokia ni ngapi ine peke yake because my history is that I overstay in one parish. My first parish where, where, where I, you know, before I come to that one, I am a victim of Dr. Gedi. 
Kwa sababu wakati toka college I, I was present to Naivasha Town Parish. Na nikalipoti kwa presbytery. Nyandaro presbytery. Siku ile nilikuwa niende kwa session. Tulipigua simu tukiwa njiani. Nikakaniambia don't go to Naivasha. I kama kanisa ni yake I have changed. Kwa hivyo si tulirundi Nika, yes, nikakaa Kalatina for seven good months. I want to tell you, I was to go back to the military. Wanazifiwe? Lakini gadhanjwa akaniambia, "Imwala, hii ni wingu linapita, ngojea." So after seven months nikatumwa inanendeni area bwana gadhairo knows it, kondi moto kiama. Uko u Mali nilikuwa na walk 37 kilometers walking. Walking 37 kilometers. Kutoka end quarter to the last congregation was 37 kilometers. Na nilikuwa natembea na miguu. I thank God that uh, nduthi asikuwa zimekuja kwa sababu ningenunua nduthi. <laughs> na labda ningepatwa na pneumonia. So huko nilikaa mwaka moja tu sababu nienda huko nikakuta uh, that walikuwa na shinda ya shamba. My brother was the ndindio Meru district. Sasa nikamutumia tukafuatilia shamba Catholic walikuwa wamechukua na wakanjenga shule huko. Tukaenda kotini we case with the father nikashinda case. Na title ni tukapatiwa title. Then I took the title to, to the to, to the secretary general. Ndio gedhi alisema ile shamba ilikuwa inashinda. Umele kwani umefanya nini? Nikamwambia ni Mungu amefanya. What he told me, told me, go and prepare for your transfer. So, me, nilika uko mwaka moja, kutoloe uko, mari nilipelekwa, nilika uko miaka sita. Appointment nilikuja asema, wachana na uyo muse. So, from there, nikaletwa uh, umoja unit, niyaka miaka tano, na miezi nane. Kutoka po, nikaenda kia madhale, nikaka, sasa nimekuja uko. This is my last appointment. Misi tapostua tena na pizie because I am retiring. I am retiring. I am old. Kama siyo vile we interfered with the ID. I am 63 years old. So, mmekua na muze. <laughs> yes, I am 63 years old. So, where I have been posted? That is where I will retire. The challenge is ni muzee amepelewa parokia kubwa sana because that parish is big. It has 1 1 1 11 congregations. Sasa hapa nilikuwa nimezoea kila sande tuko na nyinyi. So huko nikienda congregation congregation A kurudi hapo tena ni miezi 3. 3 months. So it means in one congregation nita nitakuwa hapo only 3 or only 4 times in a year. Only four times. So, mine is to request you to pray for me to have strength. And because they are very positive, I have prayed God and it's in here. Within, by the end of this year, at least for the service. So, I am leaving you, come out, but I will be with you. My story is, when I left Egoki Paris in Imeru, we had started a congregation called Indageni. For the period that I stayed in Umoja, nilikuwa naenda huko every year, every year, until we completed that church. Na ikawa dedicated. When I came to Umoja, unajua tuliaza kwa, 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 kwa hema, kwa tent. Tuka ingia kwa mabati. Before I left that place, we had started constructing the church. I, have, I was going to unity every, every year in the month of November for fundraising until when we dedicated that church. When I left the unity, I went to Kiamadhare. Nilikuta kanisa ya mabati, no amenjeka purupeti, mimi nikisimama, nabakisa inchine, niguze mabati. Mimi kawambia hapa mimi sitaubiri nikiwa hapa. Nikichomeka kiyala yangu, apana. So nikawambia, nitakuwa na ubiri nikiwa pa chini. Na nikawambia kanisa la pizie, siyo kanisa ya mabati. So nikawanunuya lori tatu ya mawe, nikawambia sasa, nimeanza, muanza kujenga. 
I did not overstay there. Nikakuja hapa. Benjamin anajua. Wapi Benjamin? Hiyo kanisa tumejenga na Mama Murugi. Every April tulikuwa tunaenda huko Arambi. And we dedicated we dedicated that church last year in the month of June. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Now I'm living. Now we have a mega project which is ahead of you. Niliambia Kamau nitawachana nayo wakati itakuwa complete. I will be coming. I will be coming. Nitawacha kukuja huku wakati wa fundraiser wakati itakuwa complete. So I am praying God to give me resources. Because I have we have been, been blessed while in Makanda. Ni tukite maundu maingi muno toka Makanda. Wale itangio ta gutariri. There is a time I and two services here. Mama Murugi akakojeka tukampeleka hospitali na muende. Kule Nairobi women. Akaambiwa sasa lazima afanywe vipimo. Sambosi zikatolewa na tukambua tuende nyumbani. Tukaenda nyumbani on a Saturday. On Sunday and two services. Nilipigwa simu usiku nikaambiwa lazima arudi afanywe operation. Na akikaa sana, akikaa for a week it will have turned to something else so saa 12 mimi nilikuwa kule Nairobi women akaandimetiwa akafanywa operation that day nikatoka huko nikakuja na nikahubiri service mbili na hakuna mtu niliambia bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini kwa sababu kuna watu walijua walitengeneza kamati ya kuomba kwa sababu ya mama Murugi hapa and they have been working with her in prayers na sasa si mnaona ni mzuri. Yes. Ni mzuri. Kwa hivyo amesimama kwa sababu ya maombi yenu. Miongoni mblesi. Nasi tutachukua muziko wenu wa kumuombea and even to work with this journey of development together. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So with those few ones, wacha mama Murugi amsalimie. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I lack ones this morning. Bakuambia. Kwanza niseme Mungu ni mwema. Gai ni mureithi. Ni andeithetie, ni areithetie family yakwa and that is why we are here. Leke tumuturire gai ucio na tutikamutiganirie. Allow me of 3 minutes. I tell you a bit of my history. Mimi nilikuwa naishi huko Chuka wakati nilijaribu transfer sa kukuja huku nikaona ni gumu wacha tu nikae huku nitakuwa na tembea. That is the life. But when I was posted here Makadara nilioga yarigire kiyama Narali gakia mawena ya Dorende said I'm going to retire early retirement because of the condition. Leo ni ene that way kwa no dagitare wa kwa ni aregire na kiuga this one goes now because you are viewers we need you to be with the kids because I had developed something that was interfering with my mind. Kogoru nenenda kagwekala kodo kwena andu aige but that one was concealed i think if there is anyone who knows in makandara ni watu very few who knew that i had lost my memory kabisa but i went regaining regaining ona riri andu kagagoko nyue murona mudu urathie no ni mudu urathie na kairitu gaikaraga hakuwe muno naniye no i knew why it is because of that thing so the doctor said lazima nikae na watu ili ni gain my memory and that is what happened mwaka witu wa mbere wa makandarane kana na thina ucio no ndirathie clinic no uracoka so kiare kiama guka makandara and we made friends that is why they are there in a condition ditomono riu digia hotire ko kumuma thutha 
Ore de ari udagi ra daiga na no hotere wo kira go diere. We have let you, but we thank God for that. We thank God for that. Nyo dorere. Ne to kire, we made friends. God has given us another chance to make wa other friends. When we make friends, is we to tutiga na kanari akuru. They remain our friends because we believe today one is silver, the other one will be gold. So as we go there, Makadara, we will never, never forget you. To tigeri gani roni ya neyiye because we have, we have really been blessed of the Lord. Gola anagoro motinyo naga physically. Goragona yue in heart. In heart. No amwere, amwena de na ishio, I make sure that I wake up, I prepare him, de ugashoka that he wo ge kamashio magi. Naga die kanida. I don't stay at the home. Nyo do nie jeteketi e gainia honidie. Na gaino e na fatana ni no ago tuara na na ni because I remember that time I had lost the memory, they had lost hope, the family had lost hope. No gaya kiuga Helen de na fatana we na ke tuara ko guose. Diri kana ga onoria atuari de gaya diyo kuma ko uto kinye mata hospital. I don't know. I don't know the story. But those who are with me, neo mame nyaga, no do de ya doke ere, da kolide modo wa magoruma black. What happened to my legs, I cannot tell. But I know that it was a process, and I'm here now to testify of the Lord. Na re mana corona, nyengeshe ya that testimony, ne moe, gaini a nyedete, onareu, no to go tingata. Kou. So now that I was encouraging him, don't worry. No koronga yajigete ho for such a time. Na mwela just no. Nye deradye breaki epuru. I'm retiring this epuru. Na odego kumakadala. I promised my God. Gaigwede teko litaya na nekwarema. Nigi kona the last day of service. I will thank you. So, Epuro, de na muere kere ro gaini ya konyo niya, na nendere higi ya muere hitu wa wakwa, uri atuari kane ide na gai adasa family. So, de na muere muere ya latakwa, iva e, I tend to call you because you are still my friends. You'll come to celebrate with me. You'll come to celebrate with me because we God has blessed us. Deure, departing is such sweet sorrows. Niki odera uganiye. Ne hote toni we dovanyu makadala. Na nito muwede te. Na makadala nito liokaga. Na to giokari. Dago oke wi kire u. To wakaga na ake. Ni udo kamu zanya kau. To keep our wants. Gai no ato jina. No ago to razima. Kai gai ago tiga ago to razima. Na atue laga. Ke uke nini ato he. To kamu he oke doke nini tu. And then God will bless us. So, as you go, those congregations, they will feel your presence indirectly when they see me. 
Ramu ira ihi gai ya digaretie. Ojo kie programu ine. Ni odori congregation shione nige. Na gaino arehe hinya. Ya kuruta maudumashio. Now that. Gaini ya hono kia this other service. Demu ira gano yodera aluta ni service. Shia naishi ni ira nyeda. Kamu ira rora this responsibility. So let me serve na jireno. You don't need it that we serve wega. Otherwise, we are happy. We are happy. Nani gweda? Kwine kawe boka nini. Kawe gatirere. Make new friends. God has given us this chance. We make new friends. One is silver and the other is gold. So we are going for Gold and silver. Gayaga ko he gold in a silver. No mirekiye. That's why I say Makadala, you remain our friends, and we will be faithful to you. May God bless you. Make new friends. Make new friends. One is silver, and the other is gold. How do we make new friends? Okay. Make new friends. Make new friends. One is silver and the other is gold. May God bless you. God will bless us all. Sawa sawa. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you mchungaji na familia uh, kwa hiyo hotuba mzee upi mmetoa na maneno mazuri ya kutuweka gufu. Tupigie hiyo familia makwa mazuri. Sasa nataka tujitarishe. Kwa sababu mchungaji tumekuwa na yeye hiyo muda yote. Uh, tutapatia na nafasi ya sisi wote kukuja hapa bere hata ikiwa hautamsamimia na mkono ukipika hapa bere umfanye hivi atakuba atakubali sidio kwa hivyo nigeoba uh, kuna bahasha silikuwa eh, silikuwa plain ungeweka gift ya kusia kuabia mchungaji asante kwa ile service umetupatia hiyo muda yote na tukubuke hata ikiwa haja kuja kwako kuna kitu wamekufanyia sio wengine tume ile time mjugaji amekuja watu wamebarikiwa mjugaji tumefugua manyumba sio watu wamefugua manyumba watu wamebarikiwa na ina habari bali tumetembea kuambia Mungu asante kwa familia kwa hivyo tukaanza kutanja yale mjugaji na yale tumepatana nayo mazuri kutoka wa mjugaji ya kuja hapa hatuwezi ya hesabu kwa hivyo tujitayarishe kukuja tuambie mjugaji asante wewe ukikuja hapa uweke bahasa yako mfanya hivi na Mungu atakubariki na tumwambie pahali ataenda aende sara na sahau sisi asi tusimsaha tumsahau tuwe marafiki kama vile tulikuwa na hiyo urafiki udumu mirele na mirele praise god praise god kwa hivyo nagojea watu wapate bahasha watu wapate bahasha ili tuanze hiyo print ndio taweka Ikiwa ulikuwa umepewa ingine ya tithe hiyo ni ya tithe wakati wa kufika wa tithe ukifika tutapeana na wale wako na thus given hizo tutasifanya baadaye tutasifanya baadaye wale wa, kuna watu walikuwa wameuliza mambo ya thus given tutaifanya baadaye kwa hivyo ningemuomba saa hii tuchukue hiyo basha plain ili tukuje tuambie mchungaji asante na kwa heri anapoenda kutumika 
parokia ingine. Uh, tunapo panya hivo, baza sinapo endelea, nigeuliza session ya, ya makandala, wakiongoso wa session crack, waze wote, hao nita wambatia na fasi ya kuja kusalimia mchugaji, uh, mchugaji ya simame, ili uh, session ikuambie asante kwa hiyo safet, umepeana kwa hii kanisa, Na ile ulafiki tumekuwa tunapoenda mkutano Asimame asimame kijana <laughs> Ah Haya nigeomba session crack aongoze timu yake na Herodas wote wakunje hapa bele uh, session crack pamoja na treasurer waongoze uh, wazee uh, and then pale mupange line uh, hapo hapo nyuma hapo 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 sasa pile mtafanya ana uh, session crack ikiwa ataongea ataongea lakini sioni haja yake ya kuongea labda asalimia sabia mjugaji uh, kwa asante kwa ile muda tumekuwa pamoja naye na Asante kwa ulafiki. Kwa hivyo session crack, chukua mic. Uh... Ah, toko na te. Ero dagule hamwezi hivyo hivyo. Pagen line, like, pagen line. Haiwezi kuwa madhoko janiyo hivyo. Ani asma mpage line vizuri, mkuja muhipe vizuri. Eh, unajua... Wewe gine group zingine sitaipa hivyo sandi kwa sababu tulikuwa tunataka kuja tukienda lakini kwanza tutongolie tukitoka lakini sasa chairman na amekataa Nie kudongolia mwana
Thank you, Sasson Crack. Brother Sifiwe, how do you know how to do this? This is the first time I have been here. I have miaka mitano tumefanya mambo mengi and there is a lot that we can remember sisi kama um, kaksession ni kumwombea baraka za Mungu pahari anaenda aende apewe nguvu mpya ya kufanya kazi pale anaenda anataka nguvu nyingi kuliko hapa ndio aweze kutembelea 12 congregations tumemuombea na tumeogea na yeye mara nyingi ati Mungu atakuwa na yeye na hata huko atafanya kazi na Mungu atamubariki na tutaendelea kuwa pamoja kama marafiki na hata katika hii huduma ya Mungu aliye tuita ukienda huko God bless you Mshugaji ataenda kuanza kazi huko kabisa on Friday. Kwa hivyo eh, from Friday yeye ni mshugaji wa huko na sisi from Thursday mshugaji wetu ataripoti kazi na atakuwa kazini kutoka siku ya Friday atakuwa na mshugaji huyo mwingine na Mungu mshugaji Mungu atakubariki may God continue to give you strength may God continue bless you. Uh, sante sana kwa hivyo sasa elders uh, tutaenda hivi tukisuguka hivi tukiweka baraza zetu kwa nini ili to save time. Um, hmm? uh, basi tutapanga line hapa ili mchungaji awe pale tunaporudi kwa viti. Tukija hapa tufuate session card tunapoenda hivi sababu naye sasa tuendelee kuimba naomba uwepo wapo uende nasi hawa watu wengine tunapofanya hivyo na wale wanakuwa nataka kutumia namba yake ya simu nataka kuipeana na naomba wale uh, wa timu ya ICT mtaiweka kwa mtandao namba yake ya simu namba ya mchungaji ni 0721 607 9 928 ikiwa wewe waweza kuwa unataka kutumia simu waweza weka sawandi yako hapo kwa hiyo namba na Mungu atakubariki ndio hiyo iko kwa screen kwa hivyo na itatoa haitatoa lev itatoka itatoa baka imwara uh, efantas baka imwara kwa hivyo usitavute jina ya kwanza utavute efantas eh? sawa sawa mbarikiwe Haya eroda tusalimia mchungaji mara moja tusimsalimia kidhuri kwa hivyo ningemuomba tumsalimie haraka 
to seek you. Na ningeomba bondi bahari wako bahari wako wasimame. Hata ikiwa hatakuja hivyo, simameni tafadhali ili tulikogonize uh, kwenda kwa mchungaji. Hebu simameni tafadhali board. Wana board wote. Board members or leaders. Hepo wako. Ah uh, board mtanikubalia na mlikogonize vizuri na namjinajua mko leaders lakini ningeomba kwa sababu tuko wengi tutoke pamoja na meba si ndio tumekubalia tusalimiane hivi kwa mmekubalia na mimi eh si ndio lakini on behalf ningeita treasurer ili yapatiane bahasha uh, ya uh, ya pale kapisi ya makandara paris bwana sifie kwa niamba ya pca makadara paris kwa niamba ya makadara paris sisi wote tuko na zawadi ya kukwambia koheli lakini sio koheli sana ya yeah. <laughs> tutakuta unatutembelea una kama vile watu wengi wameongea so uipoke na usiangalie ile iko hapo ile iko hapo ni mingi sana eh, ni mzito haya tukitoka hapo sasa tuwekee mchungaji kiti hapa na nataki mmusalimie na mkono sawa sawa tukikuja hapa msimusalimie na mkono kwa sababu tuko wengi sawa sawa ili to save time na nigeomba bwana eroda Eroda wajoi na Eroda Sam waende wa organize watu pale vile wata, wata, wata kuja kuona kwa kusalimia mchungaji. Eroda Sam pale moja. Ya yeah, tutaanza pale nyuma tuanze tukikuja pole pole na nigeoba kwa wanakoya waendelee kutuimbia. Wanakoya waendelee ku na nigeoba tukikuja tusimsalimie. Haya huko nyumba tufanye haraka haraka tafadhali e, kujeni tuwabie mchungaji kwa sante kwa ile kasi mzuri ambayo ametufanyia miaka mitano ambaye amekuwa kwa hii parokia. Tunaomba tunaomba wepo wako Iwe bwana iwe bwana Haya tunapitia hapa tunapitia hapa tafadhali hapa haijia hii ndio jia haya tunarudia hapo Hatuwezi tunenda nasi tutavua tuta Haya Bwana Sam kwa sababu box ni bili watu wa pande hii ingine waanze huko huko nyuma kabisa Sam na pande ile ingine wakunje box ni bili tutavua pande hii tafadhali hii ingine itokee Maendeleo tumeyaona miaka mitano hatukukuwa na kikao ya wakina mama wale wako na watoto wadogo sasa tuko nayo hatukukuwa tumeweka hii loop iko sasa shule mbele zako tuhemu tusafishe tutafishe kwa tuonyeshe tuonyeshe uso wako tutaji neema tutaji neema yako tena nasi 
Yesi Tua tua shingongu Tua tua shingongu Mutu samehe Hatufai Hatufai Beleza kutu remu Tu safishe banda Tu onyeshe uso wako Tu Tavua, Tavua, Mapamba, Yetu, Bitu, Biote, Biada, Mani, Quetu, Mio, Mio, Yetu, Mio, Mio, Yetu, Tuare, Tabere, Tako, Tu, Takase, Nau, Tu onyeshe jia zako Kwa mana umetuita kwa jina Kwa mana umetuita kwa jina lako Tualilia e buwana Utukufu na uso wako Bila wewe, bila wewe Tutashindwa eda nasi Tunaomba utuonyeshe Tunaomba utuonyeshe Jia zako Kwa mahana Kwa mahana umetuita Kwa jina lako Tualilia e Tualilia e Bwana Tukufu na uso wako Tutashindwa inda nasi Tutavua Tutavua Mapambo yetu Bitu miote Vyadaba likwetu Mioyo yetu Tutavua Tutavua Mapambo yetu Bitu vyote Vyadama ni kwetu Yoyo yetu Yoyo yetu Tuareta Beleza Ko tutakasi Natembe nasi Yoyo yetu
Marisa, to Tavoa, to Tavoa, a bambo, to be to your table, to be to your table, Ah, uh, mujuka jese me jambo, alafu ni ite bwana kemodo. Aombe he gift to abad to me patia mujugaji. Kwa maneno machache sana ni sema ya kwamba we as a family we are very very grateful, very very grateful. We miss once to express our Great uh, gratitude to once you. Finally, wakati tulikuwa tunafanya kazi. Unajua bwana Muricho njana tukiwa kwa session kuna jambo alisema. Asema, unajua miaka 5 iko rais. Ikuwa na milima, mabonde na mambo mengi. Ngoito inos especially in trying to rearrange some things to rearrange mambo mengi na mrs ngale anajua ngale isaac mrs wako anajua no she is here she knows there is a time kulikuwa kugumu sana ndio turekebishe mambo mingi especially na kwa line ya ngerut na mambo ya shule ngoito ya anajua na karobi ya anajua tulikuwa sana sana lakini tulikuwa tunataka kutengeneza kazi <laughs> so mine today is kama nimeshawahi kukukosea akikubali kunisamehe you just forgive me aikuwa kupenda kwangu ni ile hali ya kutengeneza kazi namba 2 mi nakuwa na shinda because of the backing ground. Backing ground yu inaniletea shinda sana. My backing ground is military. Yu ndiyo shinda. Wanamenja anajua. Sasa mwananjeshi anataka kazi na fanywa. Unajua ukiangalia unaona imenyoka vizuri. Kwa hivu kama nimeshai kukosea tafadhali munisame. Nawe kama kuna mtu ambaye kama kuna eni. Hameshawe iku aki nimemsamehe kwa nesu asifiwe ndio mungu naye aweze kutusamehe tuweze kufika mwenji wa mbinguni so god bless you god keep you in his perfect peace thank you god bless you thank you uh, nataka kupatia na eroda kimodo hili ya tuogose na maobi Tuombe. Mwenyezi Mungu na baba wetu wa mbinguni tunakushukuru wakati huu. Tunashukuru sana Bwana kwa kutufikisha sasa. Tunashukuru kwa miaka tano tumekuwa na mchungaji ni mtumishi wako ambao amjua sana. Tunashukuru sana. Tunashukuru kwa familia yake vile amelete. Na Bwana tumeona Utukufu wako ndani yao. Bwana tuwaombea baraka sako. Bwana tuwaombea tupali waendako. Waende na wewe Bwana uwaongoze. Tunaombea mshunganji. Hata watoto walimuombea good health. Na sasa sote tunaomombea good health ili Bwana kamilishe kazi hiyo mbele. Na hii ambao umefanya hapa Utumishi wake bwana wa ujua. Tunashukuru sana kwa kumuwezesha kufanya yote hiyo. Na sasa tuombea congregation hii ya Makandara. Tukaomba baraka sako, 
siwe hapa simewasho hapa na nyingine nyingi bwana hapa wametuwekea mbele bwana tuakuomba uwe pamoja nasi tuakuomba bwana uwe pamoja na watumishi wako pale waendako hata tuona hapa ndugu yetu amekuja ambao watalete ujumbe wako tunamuombea ate yeye baraka zako na sote bwana tuwashukuru tuombea vipawa bwana hapa umetolewa na watu wako na upendo bwana sibariki ili saidie watumishi wako enda pamoja nao kuwa pamoja nasi tukiomba baraka zako kila pahali ambao tuendako tuongoze bwana kuwa na sisi bwana hata tuomba utusemehe makosa yetu bwana ambao kabisa tusinakuwa tunakuomba bwana tusemehe tusafi na damu ya mwana kodo ili tukubalike nawe na yote ambao tufanyayo iwe ni ya kuinua jina lako ile ni ya kutukuza jina lako bwana tumimie baraka zako katika kanisa hii hata pisie tofahali iko tunaomba baraka zako enenda na mchungaji wako na watu wake kinyumbani na kila pahali bwana uambarikie na yote tuomba tukiamini katika jina la Yesu Kristo bwana na mwokozi wetu amen Asante ningeuliza muende uko wapi? Haya. Wanafikia kwa hapo nje na Erodalea na Erodaka George uko wapi? Haya. Ah tumsaidiane mjue pahali mtaweka hii sawandi ya familia. Haya, karibu sasa. Uh, asanti chairman wa mahali ambao tumefika basi ningetaka tusimame kila mmoja wetu na mimi naomba tufumilie mpaka tutakapomaliza leo ni siku ya mchugaji na kwa sababu hatutakuwa naye siku ingine hivi majuzi ni vizuri tufumilie kubukeni neno hatujapata neno sasa nataka tusimame kinuria adhile ko basi eh nilikuwa tumejadiliana na kinodhi ya kwamba lazima tutaimba chorus moja nataka sasa au stress yes ndio na usunguke hivi usunguka hivi pande ya right kwa pande ya right pande ya left 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 twende mbele twende mbele turudi nyuma turudi nyuma mikono juu kono juu pili nataka ushikashike hivi ushike kitu ambao iko juu ambao viki good sasa tuimbe waibaji pa pa paulo andiki ile kanira wa filipi ndire o eto ni odoro amba ni ashoka ya kado ni kwata ni roya o ni ndo aku mweda na o makamweda paulo andiki mera ni joka ya kado na kamu o era kwata ni reo tura na wendo uige e wa ku kwata ni ra na ni oro wa maku Muri kwa taniro na mukeni hagia tuika ikionere ya kama dani Jesu na moru temere tuika ngona au wakeme ne joka ya gano na kamu oera kwa taniro rotura na wedo inge he waku kwa tanira na ni oro ama kuzi oro ama na kuru. Na mutora moyo wako ni masiaro Dio doye kiuga mwana ni roso Mutora we gaine wa mwana ni Jesu Auro akimera ni joka ya kamo Na kamo hoera kwa tanire otura Na wedo uige he wako kwa tanira Na ni waro wa mamuti waro wa mana kuru 
kwa 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 ni umilio Na wotora mwaya kwa kwa ni masiaro Diyo doike kiuwe wa mwana ni arogoso Wotora wega ine wa mwana ni jeso Aura kimera dejo kagia gado Na kamu hoera kwa tani wera tora Na wendo uikere wa kwa tanira Na ni waro wa mago uti waro wa Nakamuwe Ah good. Sasa tuingie wakati wa kusoma masomo yote ikiadamana tutaongozwa na Yoda Spora. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Tumebarikiwa leo, si ndio? Eh, somo letu la kwanza tutalipata kutoka kitabu cha wafalme wa pili. Kitabu cha wafalme wa pili, Second Kings. Atumai tuko hapo. Second Kings mbili kuanzia hapo moja mpaka 15. Na tusome pamoja. <clears throat> Ikawa hapo Bwana alipopenda kumpandisha Elia, Elia mbinguni kwa upepo wa kisulisuli. Elia alitoka Gilgala Gilgali pamoja na Elisha. Elia akamwambia Elisha, "Tafadhali ka hapa, maana Bwana amenituma niende mpaka Betheli." Tatu, Elisha akasema, "Bwana akasema, kama Bwana aishivyo na roho yako iishivyo, sitakuacha." Basi akashuka mpaka Betheli, akashuka mpaka mpaka Betheli. Basi wana wa wanabii waliokuwako Betheli wakatoka kuonana na Elisha, wakamwambia, "Je, unajua ya kwamba ya kuwa Bwana atamuondoa Bwana wako leo asiwe mkubwa wako akasema nam najua nyamazeni ne elaia akamwambia tafadhali ka hapa ka hapa elaisha maana Bwana amenituma niende mpaka Yeriko 
akasema kama bwana aishivyo na roho yako iishivyo sitakuacha sitakuacha nao wakafika Yeriko basi wana wana, wana, wana wa manabii waliokuwa Yeriko wakamkaribia Elisha wakamwambia je unajua ya kwamba bwana atamuondoa bwana wako leo asiwe mkubwa wako akajibu naam najua nyamazeni Elia akamwambia tafadhali kaa hapa maana bwana amenituma niende mpaka Yordani akasema kama bwana aishivyo na roho yako iishivyo sitakuacha wakaendelea mbele wote wawili saba basi watu hamsini na wale wana wa, wa manabii wakaenda waki, wakisimama kuwakabili kwa mbali nao wawili waka, wakasimama karibu na Yordani Elaya akalitoa vazi lake la juu akalikunja akayapiga maji akayagawia huku na huku na hao wawili wakavuka pakavu hata ikawa walipokwisha kuvuka Elaya akamwambia Elisha omba kwangu lolote utakalo ni kutende kabla sijaondolewa kwako Elisha akasema na kuomba sehemu maradufu ya roho yako na iwe juu yangu akasema umeomba neno gumu lakini ukiniona nitakapoondolewa kwako utalipata lakuni lakuni huku lakuni hukunio hulipati moja ikawa walipokuwa wakiendelea mbele na kuongea kuongea tazama kukatokea gari la moto na farasi wa moto likawatenga wale wawili naye elaia akapanda bing, akapanda binguni kwa upepo na kisuri suri mbili naye elaisha akaona akalia baba yangu baba yangu gari la <coughs> gari la Israeli na wapanda farasi wake asimuone tena kabisa akashika mavazi yake mwenyewe akayararua vipande viwili kisha akaliokota lile vazi la Elia lilo mwangukia akarudi akasimama katika ukingo wa Yordani 14 akalitoa lile vazi la Elia lilo mwangukia akayapiga maji akasema yuko wapi bwana Mungu wa Elia naye alipo yapiga ya maji yakagawika huku na huku Elisha akavuka 15 ya mwisho nao hao wana wa manabii waliokuwako Yeriko wakimkabili walipomuona wakasema roho ya Elia inakaa juu ya Elisha wakaja kuonana na yeye naye wakainama kifudifudi mbele yake Mwana Yesu asifiwe hilo ndilo neno letu la leo naitwa Zipora Njoroge na nimeokoka Mwana asifiwe Kwa somo letu la pili linatoka kwa kitabu ya Timotheo wa pili Uh, ukarasa wa ine kuanzia mlango wa kwanza mpaka wa tano Timotheo wa pili ine kuanzisha mlango wa, wa kwanza uh, kutoka wa tano Mimi nasoma naitwa Steven Ngare wa Mai nimeokoka nitasoma nikiwa nimeokoka na nitaendelea kusoma kwa sababu nasikia umejitayarisha. Na kuagiza mbele za Mungu na mbele za Kristo Yesu atakayehukumu walio hai na walio kufa. Kwa kufunuliwa kwake na kwa ufaume wake. Jiubiri, liubili neno 
uwe tayari wakati ukufaao na wakati usiokufaa karipia kemea na kuonya kwa uvumilivu wote na mafundisho maana utakuja wakati atakapoya kata mafundisho yenye uzima ila kwa kuzivuata ni zao wenyewe watajipatia walimu makudi makudi kwa kuwa wana masikio ya utafiti nao watajiepusha wasisikie yaliyo kweli na kuzigeukia hadizi za uongo bari wewe uwe na kiasi katika mambo yote vumilia mambaya fanya kazi samuhubiri wa ijiri. timiliza huduma yako ijiri inaendelea asante bwana omai na yada zipora basi wakati huu tutasimama kwa miguu zetu na bwana Karovia kuna wimbo hapa utatuongoza Ah, 
Mwenyezi Mungu ukubali kututuma kama vile ulituma mitume wako na wale ambao walikuwa atamelea mitume manabii wote katika kazi na katika huduma ambayo umetuita kila mmoja wetu tunaposherekea na kutoa shukurani zetu kwa kazi ambayo umeitenda kutupia mtumishi wako ambaye ulimuita compare vipaji vya kutenda kazi na baso simeonekana katika kazi ambayo tunaiona na macho yetu tunaiona ikiwa ina action na baba pokea shukurani zetu tunaposikiza baba yetu mambo ya hiding over and taking over katika kazi yako baba taalisha roho zetu fikira zetu hata kusikia kwetu ili tuweze kuelewa jinsi unavyotuita kutuma katika kazi yako tumeomba haya yote kwa Yesu Kristo bwana wetu amen <clears throat> ah mimi si mgeni sana kwenu ah kwa jina ni George Furenga ngawaga dairo. Mimi naupenda Bwana ambaye aliponiita katika wakofu na pia katika huduma ya kuhudumu katika kanisa hili. Na ninashukuru hata kwa miaka hiyo yote. Nikisikia yale yote nilisikia wakati mmoja nilipokuwa na sherehe kama hii ya kuagwa na parokia na pia hata kupokelewa nilipokuwa nimekaa ni mengi nimenikubusha ame na hata Mungu amejinulisha katika kazi ambayo anatuita sababu kila mmoja wetu ameitwa kati menipea katika congregation hii i think this is my fourth time na kuna mara mbili ambao umeniita nikakosa nikakuwa nimeitwa kwingine na hii ulisema ya kwamba mimi siwezi I want to quote your word. Mimi siwezi kuwa peke yangu. Nifanye kazi zote peke yangu. Ningetaka yale ambayo Mungu angetaka kusema hata juu yangu uje. Na hii text ambao mimi na humbili nusu yangu. I was even given the text about Elijah and Elisha message. Yeye ndio alikuwa anataka. Uh, so I have prepared I may not be able to speak the way he would speak. He would have spoken. Lakini nitajaribu niwezavyo. Kwa hivyo nashukuru pia nilipo kujua ulipo utupata katika uchunganji. Labda tumekuwa pamoja. Huko unasema mote wa kiama. Hiyo mission area ni mimi nilianzisha nikiwa kanyakini. Naifahamu sana ukisema mambo ya huku. Huko metungu kigene mara na kule ulikuwa unatembea tulikuwa tumetangulia huko mbele yako ikiwa na mke wangu so we thank god for calling you and for giving you opportunities of service and particularly here at makandara makandara ni mengi mungu angetaka kuwafundisha kutokana na huduma zake na pia mtaona umuhimu wakuwa na mchugaji kwa muda mrefu about five years service na vile wamekuwa na mchugaji kwa miezi kadhaa miaka kadhaa having a whole minister preaching you know serving a whole service you'll be able to compare the importance of that na tunaomba hata huyu mwingine na wale wengine ambao watatangulia itakuwa vile vile lakini kila mmoja ambaye Mungu atamuita kama bila mahubiri itakuwa tutaona katika mahubiri yetu kila mtu anakuwa na jukumu lake katika parokia huyu ametenda haikuwa maliza kazi ya hapa ametenda yale Mungu alikuwa anataka akamilishe kama angeenda bere pengine angeweza kukuwa na heshima ndipo alisema ya kwamba mpaka hapo mwingine aingie na huo mwingine ana kazi mtashangaa muta mtakao mnauliza hizi kazi zilikuwa wapi si ndio hizi gifts ambazo huyu sina huyu si Mungu alimuita ili tuweze kuzitumia au isiwe kutumika katika kazi ya Bwana that's why we have transfers that's why we have 
eh, personnel na sinakuwa ni sa msaada. E, text yangu imetoka katika 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 5. Hiyo ndio ningetaka tu tufuatilie zaidi vile Paulo alimwambia a Timotheo alipokuwa na muaga au akimaliza barua hii bali wewe uwe wakianzi katika mambo yote kumilia mabaya fanya kazi ya umuhubili wa ijiri timiliza huduma timiliza huduma yako in english in a sense it says this but 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 you keep your head in all situations and ensure hardship do the work of an evangelist discharge all duties of your ministry eh topic yangu ni erija hands over mantle or button to elisha handing over so my subject is handing over and taking over vile tunaheana kazi kazi ambayo umefanya kwa muda na kumwachia ili aweze kufanya hiyo kazi kule kumwandaa na process yenyewe hii vile yenyewe inavyotendeka ah uh, inasema handing over is taking over in a, uh, handing over and taking over is a process between two people or team or group of people whereby the church offices authorities positions duties and responsibilities ni kule kubadilishana kule kuacha kiti ulikuwa unakalia that desk kumwachia yule mwingine ya is a transition transition here na and let it go yale ambayo ulikuwa unafanya you let all go to somebody else in good heart he did you tuna when you talk about uh, when you talk about, about about that na tunafanya kuna kuwa kwa lazima watu wawe na mpango they must have a planning strategy and good communication to transfer the knowledge peer the experiences for the other person to to do his operations now hiyo dio hr wanafanya wale ambao wako katika field hiyo but today sisi wa sisi wenyewe to get tunataka kuangalia the two pairs El- elia na elisha in the old, old testament the pair in the new testament a paulo na timotheo how they had it over their mission work and their ministry how should we hand over to our brothers and sisters not only at the, at the top kama mchugaji au mwingine even at those other levels of leadership and interaction in our working are together so point number one is that uh, elijah ministry we want to, to um, uh, elijah's uh, elijah's ministry contrasted with the uh, elisha one Nikataka kwanza tuangalie huduma za hao watu wawili vile walivyofanya kazi pamoja na vile Mungu aliwaandaa katika hiyo kazi mpaka ikafika mmoja anaenda na anamwachia yule mwingine hiyo kazi just the same ministry just the same ministry and calling but with the different skills gifts and approaches watu ambao wameitwa tofauti wamepewa vipaji uwezo tofauti hata jinsi ya kutenda kazi tofauti kama vile kila mtu you are very distinct kutoka watu wale wengine so let us contrast the two prophets their calling their gifts their skills and the way they performed their ministerial duties elia or elijah he was a very fairly prophet he expressed very strongly his emotions like anger and fear he would appear in a very dramatic way 
and version in very difficult situations. He would even confront the authorities of the day and give his message and he would disappear. Elia alikuwa ni mtu ambaye ameitwa ni mtu ambaye yeye mwenyewe alikuwa anaonyesha maumbile yake na pia feelings zake bila na kujisikia yeye mwenyewe ikiwa amekasirika kwa very emotional very fairly alikuwa anaonyesha hakuwa akiwa na uoga alikuwa anamwambia Mungu mimi na uoga ikiwa mimi am angry mnafikiri kuna wakati mmoja alikuwa amemwambia Mungu mimi ningetaka kufa si ndio <laughs> remember if you have studied about him alimwambia ningetaka uniondoe sasa i want even you to kill me he was very fairly very emotional na very brave very strong akipoa message hata apeleke wapi hata kiambiwa apeleke hata hata iko tu kwa my not here hata kiambiwa apeleke ujumbe hata kwa president the kings of, of the time at where utakufa unaenda vita you are not going to win those are the kind of the messages alikuwa nazo lakini ah uh, elisha was a pastor a prophet he was a pastor at the same time a prophet elisha was a very lonely solitary and alone prophet elisha enjoyed the fellowship with the people and elisha was a prophet of judgment he sought the nation of islam to go back to god elisha mwenyewe alikuwa ni mtu mpole nataka kushirikiana na watu kuwa na na kuwa na, na fellowship kuungana na watu kaa na watu vile walivyo lakini huyu mwingine he was very loner he was a solitary and loner alikuwa anataka kukaa peke yake wakati mwingi hiyo ndivyo Mungu alikuwa amemuumba lakini na jambo moja alikuwa naro mission yake ilikuwa ya kwamba kurudisha wana wa Israeli kwa Mungu that was his biggest struggle of Elijah alikuwa na mission yake yote ya Mungu na watu wake he thought called to the nation of Israel kuwarudisha kwa Mungu na angefanya jambo lolote and uh, that's what he is called the prophet of the judgment na rakini ndugu wetu Elisha he was a minister of grace very humble taki kirere kuwa na watu na sitaki kusema mengi i have known your minister uh, in that line how humble he has been hata katika faction zetu hata mikutano yetu ya presbytery hata mkiongea naye and how the pastor the pastor care pastorally he would speak about many things not having so many ambitions hata kifika ni wakati wa uchaguzi ule mwingine ukimuuliza mambo inalea namna gani hakuna chochote unataka na sema ni vile Mungu atatamua si ndio is not the people who would uh, make meetings and do, do other things now uh, even i was joking with him when he uh, alipokuwa uh, akaambiwa akalie kiti ya uh, 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 tuongoze kwa uchaguzi kumwambia na wewe ulikataa uli kukalia hiyo kali hiyo kiti huko unapenda i was joking with him outside <laughs> na umekalia vizuri sana lakini wewe ulikuwa umekataa kukalia si ndio <laughs> eh anafanya mkono na namna hiyo tu si ndio <laughs> ataki maneno maneno gani ni hiyo so god calls us and he has got gift he has given us and those gifts are not given to the minister he is only possessing those gifts they are given to the church those gifts they do not belong to him they are given to the church through him because it is god who works in us and through us mungu ndiye mwenyewe ambaye anatenda kazi si ndio ni yeye anatuwezesha he is the one who works in us and through us and he does his work ndipo na wakati mwingine anatuambia hata sikuhitaji mimi nifanye kazi kwa sababu wewe uliumbwa hivyo kuumba sikuwa na mimi natenda kazi ndipo fanya huu ulimwengu wote wewe ulikuwa wapi si ndio si nilifanya hivyo and it's only a privilege that god gives us 
to serve him and give us opportunities and avenues and get to do that work that God has, has given us. Sasa ukiangalia eh ukiangalia katika eh, haya mambo unaona ya kwamba eh Aija alikuwa ameitwa na alikuwa anaangalia sana mambo kuhusu wana wa Israeli na kuona ya kwamba wamekaa katika sheria ya Mungu. Na kama vile nimesema ukisoma First Kings chapter 22 alitumwa na Mungu kwa King Ahazia. Na akaambia ya kwamba aende akamwambie yeye atakufa kwa sababu ya yale mambo ambayo amefanya. Alikuwa hata pia kuenda kuabudu miungu wa wakati ule. And God was very angry. Na akamwambia kwa sababu ya kaya akiwa ni is a, is a king. Yeye atakufa na uende ukamwambia hivyo. He has gone even to seek advice from the heathen. Naye naye emfarme um, aliposikia hivyo akajaribu kuweka vile akatuma watu waende wakamuue. Umesoma hiyo? Na moto walipokuwa wanaenda kumuua, moto ukatoka huko biguni ukachoma hao watu. Umesoma hiyo? You, you go and read that uh, chapter 22. Oh, you can see how God also protects us when we are doing his work. He will never leave us when you are doing his work. Ukisoma hivyo unaona vile vile So moto katoka binguni ukachoma hao watu na Mungu hakubadilisha nia yake kinga hazia alikufa kama vile ujumbe ulikuwa umeparekwa Nikataka tuangalie kwa, ki, kwa kifupi Elisha na e, Raija na Elisha working relationship Vile walivyoteda kazi hao wawili wakiwa kazi ya ya, ya mission Elisha, Erija, Erisha, Erisha alikuwa amemwahidi Elia ya kwamba watamfuata, watafanya kazi e, pamoja mpaka ifike siku yake ile Mungu atakayemchukua. And they sat together for 10 years kulingana na record ambazo tunazo. So it appears to be faithful to your calling. Kule kunyenyekea na kusikiza kwa mkubwa wake na kutenda kazi pamoja they served for 10 years together na alikuwa amemwahidi kwamba mimi tutafanya kazi pamoja na wewe and patiently akagoja mpaka ilipofika hata safari yao ya mwisho kutoka kule eh, Gilgal Yugari wakaenda mpaka eh, mpaka Jericho wakaenda pamoja wakafika katika mto wa Jerusalem watumia vazi lake uh, maji the spotting of water they went on the dry land wakati upande ule mwingine na mpaka ikafika wakati hata hata ile shule ya wana wa wanabii walikuwa kule about 50 people walikuja kushuhudia hili jambo they all came together na walipokuwa katika hiyo safari Mungu mwenyewe akajidhihirisha the chariot of fire ikatoka kutoka binguni ikamchukua wote wakiona akaperekwa akaenda binguni na kabla hiyo alikuwa amemuuliza je mimi nikitoka nikienda nikuondokea mwambia hiyo ni ngumu sana lakini if you are going to witness my assertion Mungu atakupea na ile vinya kabla pili na pia akamwachia kipande moja he gave him a tool wakati ule a cut into the his crock akamwachia na alipoachiwa there was even the hiding of the tools of the ministry the crock <laughs> hiyo nguo the mantle hata hiyo kisehemu ya mantle e akamwachia nae elisha he saw his lesson and glorified a uh, master elijah and he received the request he had witness from Elijah departure receive the, the double portion of spirit Elisha hands over to Elisha they made their final journey together traveled from Gilgal to Bethel to Jericho to Elisha and he showed his loyalty to Elijah 
and tunaona hata walipokuwa wanafanya the first miracle aliona the parting of the ways the chariot mambo hayo yote aliyaona yote yakitendeka na yakifanyeka yeye how did he kick off elisha kick off au akaanza ministry ministry zake alipopewa the the tools za kufanya kazi kile kipande cha nguo na the double spirit sababu alipewa the double spirit au kitisha nusu au moja he give i want you double of yourself that his first ministry was to perform three miracles kama vile tumeandikiwa katika kitabu hicho to show the authenticity of the prophet ili aonekane ya kwamba ni Mungu ambaye amemteua and there is the proper replacement of Elijah alifanya miujiza mitatu iko katika that chapter mboni amana sana moja hicho kipande ndicho alitumia tu ili waweze kufuka upande ule mwingine I hope those who have gone to Israel have been in those places. I remember one time when I go to St. Andrews, one of the elders was with us. We went to Jordan to these places. And, and, and this is Jordan, Jericho and those other places. Now we kept on fasting vizuri because we this are true stories. Tugine tumekanyanga kule, mara mbili mara tatu, tumeenda kule. These are true stories. Hapo hapo walipokuwa wamefukia, alifanya vile vile Elijah alipofanya akakweka juu ya maji dry land akavuka pale ule mwingine pia hiyo thing a stream maji yakuwa maji yake ilikuwa na sote or poisonous wengine wamehubiri hiyo he purified the waters of a polluted spring or fountain na hiyo maji he healed the waters na watu wakanywa na Nara tatu which was more he had the divine rebuke of 42 young men who called him bohended and they were mauled by the bears pia kuna wale vijana wadogo wa 42 na wawili walimuita kipara 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 and walikuliwa na huyu bear because they be cured wali bi haki yeye mwenyewe na nero na Mungu ambao alikuwa ndani yake. Na ndugu zangu na ndugu zangu. Paulo when he was handing over to when he was handing over to Timothy. Alimwambia jambo moja ningetaka ufanye ni kuhubiri neno la Mungu. to collect and to encourage and to rebuke the people he puts a lot of emphasis on preaching or the word of god na hapo pia tunaona neno la mungu hata pia kati hao wawili ndipo tunaona ndio msingi wa imani na kazi yetu na anamwambia kwamba na mujihadhari wale ambao mimi nikiondoka wale ambao watakuja na mafundisho na wale wapenda makuu Paul was addressing a situation that was already there um for me alipokuwa anaenda mahali alikuwa nakaribishwa so the streets were cleaned and other people and other even some other prophets si watu kama hao wengine sasa tumeona siku hizi kuna mmoja hata nchi hii yetu anapoenda mahali kuna safisho barabara sio and all the security is eh? hata kuna wengine ninahubiri ungekuwa my security wewe ungekuwa umesimama eh sijua na ninaogopa nini you know dear tunaona wengine wana security sasa wakiingia na kuna kingineko that is the situation was addressing at kuna wabidi wengine walipokuwa wakati ule wana mambo kama hayo philosophers walikuwa wameingia wakati ule mafundisho yalipokuwa and you see the kind of the teaching we are also getting these days hata kutoka kwa wachungaji wetu na kawaambia kwamba don't be foolish listeners 
Don't be foolish listeners or passive listeners. You must be people who listen. Namuna Sikiza. He talks about this. Because the Bible, I want you to do the sound doctrines of the church. Nenora Mungu ufundishe watu. Nenora Mungu. The teaching of the word of God and believing in that word of God. Tipo Paulu anasugumizia, anapo, anapo, um, on his hands over and write his, his, his last letter. If it julize, it do wuna redazangu. What lessons can we learn from the ministry of Elia na Elisha? Je, to get you nini? How should we do the handing over of the God's mission work about, about to mepewa? How many watu walikuwa tofauti na mungu walikuwa mewaita na kila mtu walikuwa na kazi yake? Now here you are having two ministers. Mumoja mekua na wameaka mitano. Mungiwe na takuja hamujui. Atatafanya nini. He may even do much more better than him. Because there's God working his name. Yere mwari hivyo lina kakiruta ageni inani kwa tuka kakati kwa. He don't know what God has got planned. He threw uh, uh, Dr. Kekewara for this parish. And why did he come? Don't know what God wants him to go and do. Adipare kwa mtu wakema kwa sababu ya shamba. Wewe pengine unasema umeumeperekwa uka ukapasue parokia sio? Parokia ile ile ni congregation. Kwa sababu Mungu ana mpango. God has a plan for his work. We have got the personnel, the resources to do his work. God has called us and the the handing over and taking over of the two ministers is going to determine the strength and the progress of the life and the growth of this parish. It's very important. The way you receive, the way you set me up, the way you receive the other one. Now he, at a nyenye waze, who could distrib, vile mkana tiofanya. Nyenye viongozi wabikudi, vile mkana tiofanya huku katika kamati zenu na grupi zenu. It is going to determine kazi ya makandara itakuwa na muna gani. It is the now the new year. The new minister, new personnel. So the handing over and the taking over of every group and every or everybody else is going to determine the life and the success and the growth. Ita hiyo ni chambu ambao ni ramahana. Na kira mtu anakazi yake ameitiwa. Na kuna mtu ambayo atafanya kazi ya mwingine. Mtu anakazi yake. You have got your own opportunity of, of doing that work. Kwa hivyo, ni Pauru alifanya vile vile kwa kubusha. Na hata bwana wetu Yesu Kristo umenyewe aliyada mitume wake. He prepared the disciples for his death, the selection, and the union ascension. Aliwambia kwamba, ni resima tukurudi kure Jerusalem mbada ya kufuka Na kure dipo mu, na mukae mpaka mimi munione mimi ni kiada binguni. You read the book of chapter 1 of Acts. Ascension. Na walikuwa mekao pa moja na wingu rawitu ulikaja lika mchukua Yesu waka muwana kia na sidiyo. Kwa hivo kila mtu anakazi yake. How are we preparing? How are we preparing? Wale ambao watakuwa maze. How are we preparing those young people who take over from us those who are retiring? How do you prepare even in our leaders, our leadership? He imeingia ata katika familia zetu ni lazima tuwe na mpango of handing over our property, our leadership kwa toto wetu. And we, this is a very, very big weakness we are having in the families. Biashara ata fakmi si mianguka na ulikuwa na vijana. Ukianguka we unayenda na mali, na mali, na mali yako yote. How do we prepare? Nilikuwa nimeenda kutafuta fundi wa kunake ofisi yangu e mukeka. And I went to Biashara. I went to a Indian shop. Akaniabia, kambia how have you been here? Kambia hii duka imekuwa hapa for 83 years. Kambia how are you working as members of the family? 
akaniambia huyu muindi hata kwa tumejuana sana akaniambia kwamba you see you Africans and you kids mtoto akifika miaka 18 wewe unafukuza naenda sisi wetu wote tunakaa hapa hukaa na yule mwingine tumekuwa hapa this building was built it a 3 years ago at biashara mtoto akifika miaka ile and you have been doing all this business together for 8 years it is now they are, they are now in the third generation with that business how ungaria how do we prepare our children our businesses our leadership in the family how do you do all that how do you prepare even at county level mwashimiwa na watu wale wengine how do how we get to prepare some of the issues that we are getting how do we offer the tools or power and even of working kwa hivyo tujiadae kwa mambo mengine kama hayo unaona Mungu vile alivyoweka hao wawili na kasi ikaendelea si ndio kama vile ilivyokuwa so when you having session when you having the proper leadership and the hiding of and taking over of every crook and honoring everything and giving the tools of he deal in the time in the development and the mission of this church itself because you are called for a mission tumeitiwa hiyo si mijengo kama hii nyingine hii nyingine tu hii nyingine ya kutusaidia tu tu tuweze kukamilisha nini the what is the core business of the church itself those are only facilities to help us to do that the schools and water and other things now but we should not forget about what has the church been called to do and for what purpose it is for us to go to heaven nimalizie kusema hivi kwamba tunapofanya kazi ya Mungu tufanye tukijua tunamfanyia Yesu mwenyewe he is the judge that, that's what Paul tells to the one who is going to test your work to judge your work is Jesus Christ himself na mwenye kutupea sawandi ni huyu mwenyewe ambaye alitenda kazi hii kazi tunayotenda ni yake ni yeye mwanzilishi wa kanisa na mambo yale mengine he is the one who is going to test every work na tunapotenda kazi tuwe tunamtendea huyu ambaye alituita huyu alikufa kwa ajili yetu na kasi ni kuhubiri neno watu waweze kuokoka na wapate uzima wa milele so we should not forget why we as a church we have been called ni kwa nini tumeitwa and that is the emphasis of Paul himself he did he did neno to correct us to encourage us to rebuke us and to take that word to other people kwa hivyo mwenyezi Mungu atusaidie na makandara mujafika mwisho mwa mnaanza upya sasa mmefika mwisho mafali mmefika but we starting off fresh the new personnel the new gifts you don't know who you are getting elisha au ni elisha ameenda au ni elija amekuja habijui kama ni paulo ameenda ni timothy ambaye anafanya nini lakini mungu anakusudi na ana mpango makandara kwa hivyo tujiandae katika hiyo kazi mpya tujiandae pia katika kazi ya wamishionari ili Yesu atakapokuja tunaambia kwamba tunafanya mambo mengi ambayo hayajulikani na watu wengine hayashimiki na watu wengine mengine tuna, tunafanya kisirisili lakini wakati wa kupewa zawandi it will be open itafanyika kati mbele za watu wako wetu wote mwenye kupeana hiyo sawandi ni Yesu mwenyewe ambaye ni mwenye kazi ambaye tunatenda kazi pamoja na yeye can i kindly ask the congregation to stand tuweze kuomba pamoja can we stand tuweze kuomba pamoja tukifikiria hiyo neno ya Elija na Elisha Paulo na Timotheo Mwito ambao wewe mwenyewe umeitwa ukiwa katika kwaya 
katika kikundi chochote katika kamati yoyote how are we performing mwenye kupeana mshahara ni nani ni huyu ambaye alituita na mwenye kazi ndo tunayotaka tuombe tunakushukuru mwenyezi Mungu baba wetu kwa vile umeiliita kanisa lako lote liende kote ulimwenguni likapeleke hilo neno lako na vile baba unatuita pia kama vile ulivyomuita mtugaji Evantas na ukamuleta katika baba wetu katika parokia hii ukiwa na makusudi na majukumu ulimpea na wazee na kwa sababu mmekupendeza wakati huu aende akafanya kazi mahali pengine kama vile nilikupendekeza nikupendeza wewe mwenyewe Erija aende amwachie kazi Elisha ili upendeza pia Paulu aende pia mtoto wake Timotheo amwachie kazi nasi baba tunakushukuru kutupea nafasi ya kuhudumia nasema ya kwamba you are going to test every work and every task that we do will be tested na mshahara ni wako wewe mwenyewe angalia kazi ya parokia hii bali mafika ili uweze kuendelea na tuweze kufanya handing over na taking over in our part kwa kila sehemu zetu zote za parokia hii neno lako likusaidie pia kukaa katika wewe tukijua ya kwa mabanda ya kuwa waminifu katika kazi yako na mshahara na mshahara mzima wa milele Tusitoke hapo baba tutubu dhabi zetu tukae katika imani katika maisha yetu mpaka ile siku tutatuita na hapo siku ile utakuja na tutasimama mbele yako na kazi zetu zote zitaonekana kule tulivyotenda wewe mwenyewe katika maisha yetu e mwenyezi Mungu sikia maombi yetu kwa Yesu Kristo bwana Ah. Ah, asante mchungaji kwa sababu ya hilo neno. Nawe na bwana endelee kukubariki. Basi wakati huu tumefika wakati wa kupatiana sadaka na tutafanya vile vile tutafanyanga. Naomba kuna Elda George ambao atatuongoza wakiwa na Elda Kinodhia. Sasa hao ndio watatuambia vile tutafanya. Elda George. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tumefika kipindi kingine ya kupeana sadaka. Tugeuliza wale wako na tithe. Watokee mbele. Na wale wanapeana bahasha wapeane hiyo ingine tutaongozwa kuna watu wako huko nyuma na wadaburu wako huko nyuma tatuongoza vile tutakuja wale wako na tithe wakuje mbele na tuwekewe Mpesa tuko na machine Wale wako na tithe please kujeni mbele. Mungaji. Musimame, ninaona muda umeenda. Ni vizuri kwa sababu tuko na kazi nyingi. 
with my brothers and my sisters, the issue of tithing ni jambo moja ambalo ni la maana katika imani ya Mkristo. Continue to be faithful tithers. Nifanya hivyo hata wakati huu mimi mwenyewe. You get some special blessings. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Giving a donation to the church. Doing the offer today. It is not in vain. It's not in vain. It's part of the worship. And I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. It is very, very important. It's part of your Christian life. And faith in ministry. Let us continue to be faithful in all sort of giving. Let us pray. Na kushukuru umenyezi mungu baba wetu wa binguni. Kwa sababu wewe ndiye mba wa mbingu na enchi na yote yaliyomo hapa duniani. Nasema yote ni yako. Umetuamuru ya kwamba kama ishara ya kutenda kazi pamoja na wewe. Malive ni kukona isu as the creator and the giver to give the tithes. Baba, na pia mkitu tenda jabo fulani katika maisha yetu to store shukurani zetu. Wakati mwingine baba tunapeana donations and even overtime offerings in the church. Help us to give ourselves to you. And all that we are and all what we have. Because we all belong to you and all belongs to you. Nothing that we have. And what can we say that we give you? We can give you only nothing because it all belongs to you. Baba tunakushukuru kwa hao ambao wana tithe sao. Bariki kazi ambao wanatenda na ile pesa wameacha umetenganisha na hii the 90% in their business in your work. Wale ambao wamewatendea jambo furani wanatoa shukurani sababu umeguza maisha yao katika hilo jambo umewatendea. Wale ambao wanasikia kwamba they want to donate kwa sababu unasikia huo mwito even as we give even our offerings to you as we owe ourselves baliki kila mmoja wetu na kazi ambayo inaleta kutendwa na hii fedha ibariki ikinge na mmoja ambao amekuwa katika siku hizi hata katika kanisa lako baba usipokee na utupokee kwa maana tumeomba hayo yote kwa Yesu Kristo bwana wetu Tutaanza Hii hatutatokea sisi wote hivyo. Taanza na hii side wakuje. Alafu tuende kwa ile side. Tukianza pale nyuma. Pale nyuma kuna yodaburu pale na yodalaba napo. Watusaidie kujeni. Kwa ya mtuongoza na wibu.
Asante sana Koya kwa kutuongoza kwa wibo. Tungetaka kuita familia ya Mr. Masharia na Mr. Isaac Kereka wako na Thanksgiving. Tungaji. The family of Mr. Masharia. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. tapatia bwana kirika nafasi ndio aseme jambo alafu task kidogo tu alafu ni tena task ah viongozi wa kanisa na washirika wa kanisa la makadara bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe tena ah uh, kwa majina ni Isaac Kirika Masharia na afternoon ya leo niko na shukrani mingi sana kwa Mwenyezi Mungu Uh, nimekuwa kwa kanisa ya Makadara ni join in 2014 na nimekuwa nikiwachezea drum set na ninashukuru Mungu kwa hiyo nafasi ya kupewa na nashukuru pia Prison Worship team na wale watu wote tumekuwa tukishirikiana na wao mimi kwangu nimekuja kutoa shukrani na kusema ile mira kwa Mungu amenifanyia uh, kutoka nikuje kanisa ya Makadara nilikuja hapa nikiwa mwaka wangu wa kwanza university na kwa sasa tukiongea Mungu amenisaidia sana na kwa sasa mimi ni registered graduate engineer civil and structural engineering na Engineers Board of Kenya Institution of Engineers of Kenya na kwa, kwa sasa niliomba kutoka mwezi wa nane nimekuwa nikiomba Mungu na ile wakati mhubiri amemaliza alikuwa na anaita wale watu wako na hitaji mtu yote yako na hitaji akuje aombewe na in August the best university in Africa inaitwa University of Cape Town walitoa tangazo wakasema all international students in Africa they are going to give 55 slots in the entire of Africa for masters and honors na nikaandika application yangu ya kwanza mwezi wa nane. application hiyo nikitukaiombea sana na tukaombea pia na wazazi wangu na nikakubalika kwa University of Cape Town na jambo la pili wale watu wanapeana uh, scholarships walikuwa wamepeana chance ya kupea full scholarship wanakulipia kutoka tiketi yako ya ndege process ya visa mahali pa kukaa 
na the world ya hiyo masters yenye wali wananipea it's almost three and above million na nilishukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu it was a very tight race the entire of africa they just wanted 55 and i won a masters for kenya na kwa huo mujiza nimekuja kutoa shukrani kwa kanisa na familia yangu it's so emotional for me na i thank god and also the blessings for the journey that is ahead of me 10 years ago mimi nimelelewa kwa madhabahu same thing happened we prayed with my parents i was in form 4 when we prayed to god mimi nilikuwa na nilikuwa na dream ya kusomea ngambo i wanted to be the best student in nyeri and join equity bank and god answered our prayers back then exactly as we prayed tumekuwa tukipia shukrani kwa ile kanisa na ndanga nyumbani kila mwaka tunataka kupea shukrani kwa Mungu na mwaka huu tulipoomba na wazazi wangu na pia zile baraka nimepata kutoka kwa hii kanisa nikaambia wazazi wangu wakati huu tutapeana shukrani yetu makadara before niende kwa sababu ya accountability nimekuwa dikono wa agano led by elder grace ako hapa na najua watu wakiachana wanakuanga na ile mapenzi yao ndio mkinikosa mnaona maybe sijakuwa kwa drum siulize nilienda wapi nitakuwa pale University of Cape Town nafanya masters in civil engineering specializing in geotechnical engineering nashukuru Mungu kwa tutafanya kazi zote nimeahidi elder wangu sitawaachilia na all the knowledge yenye nitaenda kupata huko ni kwa sababu ya Kenya ni kwa sababu ya kanisa la makadara ni kwa sababu ya nyinyi wote this is a win for everyone of us na Mungu atakuwa pamoja nasi ningeuliza kwa kiruhusu niita familia yangu tumekuwa tukiomba nao sana they traveled away, all the way from Nyeri my dad is an elder is a retired elder na pia kwa hapa so karibuni asante Wewe ndiye baba Kirika. Mama ako wapi? Ndiye huyu. Ah wengine ni sisters, watoto, ni sisters eh? Sisters wa eh. Sasa unasemaje? Unasemaje? Ah. Eh, kusikia tumesikia vile Kirika amesema. Na Kirika ni moja. Unajua kuna watu wengine sometimes some people talk bad unajua kukiitano watu waombewe unaona fulani ametokea next week kukiitano anatokea lakini unasikia watu wanasema eh hey, kayatu kile wa mahoya <laughs> leo kirekani umwe wa ndo asio mera kuo guo kayatu kile wa maho mahoya leo ni malai ni malasho kidio kana tiku ya members kireka maombi merudi there is no delay wakati wa kufunga mwaka tulisema there is no ndire za tumeanza kireka ni moja wengine wako njiani wanakuja kwa sababu Mungu anaturudisha maombi yale ambayo tumekuwa tukiomba yes bina a prayer item for us yes bina wa prayer item na sio peke yake we have around 13 families wale ambao nilikuwa naombea sasa kireka ameenda who is next haya baba kireka ah uh-huh. Kwanza ni kusema jina langu naitwa Sim Mashari ya Dedan. Nimetoka kule eh Mukuruine Mukuruine Presbytery ni Hote Parish. Na mimi nimekuwa retired deonda sasa niko na miaka tatu tangu nilitae. Na nimeona ushidi wa Bwana. Hmm. Kuligana vile Kireka amesema yani tumekuwa tukiomba tangu wakiwa primary anaingia secondary tunaomba hata wakati anafanya mtihani tuna, tuna shi, kila siku wakati mtihani ilikuwa ati, atafanya form 4 oh, subject zote zile alikuwa atafanya tulikuwa kila asubuhi tunasiobea moja kwa moja 
na kutokana na hiyo wakati alifanya mtihani zile zote alifanya alipata hii na tulishukuru sana na tukapenda mungu sana na kutokana na hiyo tulisidi na maombi na maombi kwa sababu neno linasema uh, through maombi utafauru mm. na hutakosea mm. na sababu unaomba unaomba Mungu ule mwenye kukuumba ule anajua mwanzo wako na mwisho yako na kutoka wakati huo tena wakati alivanya mtihani ya university ya Kapita uh, civil engineering wakati alifanya degree tena tukaomba kuligana na vile maombi yake alikuwa nataka ati agependa kwenda bele na masomo lakini kwenda bele na masomo ni pesa na sisi ni wafanye kazi kwa shaba tu tunafanya eh, kazi ile tunafanya kwa shaba haipati mapato mingi lakini zu maombi vile tuliomba ndio hiyo mambo inaenda ikitendeka ikitendeka kwa hivyo tumeona ushindi wa bwana mm. pande yetu na pande yake katika familia tumefurahia hiyo na hivi hivi karibuni tulikuwa na maombi kwa kule shash na pia yeye tulimuita tukaita family yote tukatengeneza kitu kidogo tukaenda kwa mshungaji sababu ya maombi wakati tena tuliomba tukasikia tena amepata scholarship kuligana vile tena alikuwa naye ameomba na vile tulikuwa tuomba kwa hivyo mi, mi, mi naona dhuru maombi watu wa mugu anasikia maombi ya kila mtu kwa hivyo tunashukuru mm. na ndio sababu tumekuja wakati ile alisema alituambia sasa mm. ako karibu kwenda na siku zake za kukaribia simefika akatualika hapa makadara bele nilikuwa hapa makadara miaka iliyopita kama miaka 20 na kitu na nilikuwa katika district ile ilikuwa inaitwa uh, west wakati sababu tulikuwa tunakaa pale hii ilikuwa na wale wazee walikuwa hapa sambani akina Gatheru akina Josia ule alikuwa anakaa huko huko Buruburu na kwa hivyo kutoka wakati huo tunapenda shash tunapenda kanisa tunapenda Mungu tunapenda Kristo sababu yeye ndio chanzo zetu na mwisho yetu kwa hivyo tumekuja hapa kwa baba God bless you God bless you God bless you let, let ebe songa bere kidogo lete ika mau watu wa makandara nani angejua kirika amesoma a very humble guy unajua wengine walikuwa naona kijana anacheza ndiramu pale tu kama huruki uguo kirika e ni tondo kanitha wa bidhini twitikitie uhoro wa the seniority of the prophecy munavyo nwe mukuru ndio turai njas niru niru down pigeni makoti piga makoti kama una kama uko na shida ah ni sawa ni sawa sijali tondo tokoleto tokio ya lake kile kama onori ngwenda mutunga tirigathairo nigetha amukomiti mokoine mangai thavale ya kuma Kenya kuthie South Africa e mokoine mangai guikara gwake South Africa kwi mokoine mangai kuthoma na kurikia ni ngai na arikia ri that will not be the end ngai ya ingore mirango 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 nigetha githomukire agathoma ri kiote kumuteithia ateithie this family na ateithie kanitha wa uria atungataga wa Yesu Kristo na kio kio giki muaheana giki kiro twika ni chavi ya kuingola mirango ya mulwaithe witu kirika tuombe tumetufundisha ya kwamba tuwe tunakutolea shukurani wakati wowote katika hali zetu zote lakini hii ina sababu kwa sababu umekujia katika hii familia and you have touched their lives you have answered their prayers you have put their prayers into action and we can see you how you work and how lord you are faithful to our prayers 
tunakushukuru kwa familia hii ya bwana kireka kwa sababu umemuita na ukampea uwezo wa kusoma si kusoma peke yake pia umempea pia opportunities ni baba tumekuja kwa sababu ni wewe umeteda si mtu mwingine ni wewe na shukurani ni kwako wewe mwenyewe si kwa mtu mwingine na baba tumefanya kama vile umetuamuru wanapoenda kufanya kazi yote kusoma na kumuandaa na kwa yale ambao sisi hatujui unakusudi gani katika maisha yake tupokea shukurani zetu zote kwa sababu yale ambao kama vile amesema atapata si yake yeye ni njia tu anatumika ya nchi hii ya familia hii na kota ulimwengu baba pokea shukurani zetu nyondo mwana ni wakumu kilio mwe katakati ni mwaitu no keona ni nawe kama odo manene wana mwadu watange shiria toto na gata mwadu manene mwadu watere tuwe shiria ni mwadu igeire and this is what you lord you have proved today so bless him and this family and the work and the ministry and the skills that you're going to give him to do more and more in the world which you created to impact and to in, to improve that field of civil engineering if there are other lord inventions and proofs that you want to do lord you don't know what you want to do through him because you have them have called him we offer this prayer of, of faith breathing and trusting in jesus name kanitha ikalaide kanitha ikalaide so kireka know this that in god there is something god want to do to his people kwino ndu ngai arenda gwika gwikira ndu wake but god cannot come in his bodily form so god will work through you nigetha kinyanirie maundu marenda gwikira andu wake ngai wa moya kulathima na gwike maundu Thank you thank you Moraida wito tore rai ngai ucio ugo ni guonga yekaga thank you thank you ikalai thank you una familia ingine iko hapa ya bwana macharia macharia we mwega kai woka ringi haya uka mpatie ka meme ndio yes <laughs> face that sign macharia angalia watu e. habari ya wote uko salama kabisa naye nimekuja hapa kurudisha heshima ya ka project kingine nilikuwa nako naye mchungaji amekuja kunifungulia sasa nikamwambia nikalete thank giving na ndio imefanya nikuwe hapa good haya asante sana mama unataka ito uge ka unduma ndega ini wadhini wale to dia mwadhani tuliega kama ni twa jita police wa ngali masharia tu to ka hanyuba ine ya ngai to do no hotwa ugeire tutrenda maundu macio na ri ugai ni atwikira wa gutu higiri na twa higuri wa hala twa dia kuri twa dia twa hoire ha ha tento guthi kuri kiriria igwo gwo twa ka gucokeria ngai ngatho ndoa mashara atuhigeire na aratulikiriria mm. eh thank you haya lete kameme uh, uh, unataka wasichana waonge haya ongeeni ini bwana asifiwe asifiwe tena mm. otogo moyi gona ni zitago aboyi wa masharia na twina gikeno kingi turugamite mbere yanyu tukiuga ni wega otogo mutugatiria rauga ona ona nilira gwetago andu moke mahoero ndokago muthenya ndona ndale na ifatara na ifatara ulitwe ni ritwekete ria kuhinga na tugake na tukiona gikaro kia maka ndora riwa ciaria kwa mari uka gucera tondu ni mahetwa gikaro kingi mwena wa Joska mwathani agocho mm. mm. haya uyu uyu si wa makandala nilikaacha kakiwa katoi huku huko chini praise god amen praise god again mm. my name is 
dhidi ya Wangoi Masharia nimeendelewa hapa but nikarudi nikaenda church nyingine but sasa ina fellowship umoja parish but sasa ina rudi huku tulikuwa na project immediately reverend alikuja huku na sasa tume complete the same time and i did church so tuna give thanks to god tuko humbled imekuwa a process and a journey but to thank god tumekuwa I'm lacking enough words but all I can say prayers work. Thank you. My mom amekuwa most of the people and I'm joy even my dad I'm a living testimony tumekuwa tuki go through a lot but we thank God. If you believe and pray mm. first everything mm. is going to work through. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In 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 Yes. Sasa bwana Machari atilikuwa naye on Wednesday na kule enjoy ka huko ndani huko mahali kuzuri kuzuri ako na kamboma kazuri hata uwezo ukaamini ni machari yamenjenga ni tondo wa you know tro ile tro ile tro na guoko kwa ngai so machari ya mutulire ngai ucio that god who has enabled you to do that muamini ya kwamba Mungu atatenda si unakumbuka Mungu atatenda haya pigeni magoti hapa Alo eh munabi unajua wewe ndiye mkuu wewe ni mkuru na leo ni twetekitie munabi ule mkuru ni wagire kuigirira ndo moko sawa sawa kanitha ruga mai Sasa fa mimi ni ndota ni support okay Mwenyezi Mungu babu wetu wa bengoni na kushukuru kwa vile ulimuita Yesu aje hapa afanye public ministry na wengi ambao walikuja kwake kutoa shukurani kwa sababu ya kutonya mambo yote ambayo yaliyotokea katika maisha yao uliwaambia kwamba wengine waliponywa na mengine yakafanyika uliwaambia ni kutokana na imani zao hao watu wamekuja kwa sababu umewaguza walikuomba katika hiyo project wameiona na wamekuona that's why lord they are coming back like the leper the only leper the samaritan aliyefika magoti kutoa shukurani tunajua kuna wengi ambao hata wamefanywa mengi lakini hawajui maana ya kutoa shukurani utufundishe na huyu baba Inaweza kuonekana si mambo makubwa lakini kwake yale bomu watu umemtendea na mahali ametoka ni mbali. Tuone umbali umetutoa. Na mamengi mengi ambayo umetu, umetupea lakini hatuna shukurani. Tupee roho wa shukurani. Remove the heart of ingratitude in our lives. Ambao imefanya imezuia baraka nyingi sisichije katika maisha yetu baba bariki hii familia katika hiyo project yao uongoze hata katika singine na baba pamoja na hao tumetoa shukrani zetu zote kwa kwa Yesu Kristo Bwana wetu watu walikuwa for the period that I've been here kuna watu hata walikuwa nakuja private ile kwa ofisi tunaomba na wanapeana sandaka yao and I've been giving to the church kama wanajua hivyo familia ikikuja tukiomba wakipeana sandaka yao huwa i normally give to kamau kuna watu wana 
wanaangalia wanaona kanisa inataka kitu fulani wananunua they bring to, to me in the office na tunaomba then finally i hand over to kamau kamau knows that na hata njana kuna i hand over what i hand kwa kamau kwa guo no wega we ta mukristiano ungiona kindu kanithere ndari to nginya weterero wirwo if you can, you can go and buy and then you bring to the church to nginya ore akoro ndurenda kureha you can bring to the minister or you can give come bring to the chairman and then we will just pray ah kwena mumemba urondire akwere to tire na tha bare akuna tha matoire tha ingathi ya ile ikwa bare ingathi wagurira maiga ni bure irega woku bethiri ikingathia sasa atuna sa sasa kaka kaona ikanisa inataka sa sasa kanunua hii sai ni memba wetu amenunua na amepea na hii ni sawa it has been tested it is working well hiyo ingine shetani aliingilia ikakuama ni shetani haki ni shetani kwa sababu tulikuwa tumepewa saa nzuri sana hata nikaweka kwa ofisi ndio wageni waikuja waya wanaiona ngai ikireka ni wino ni igito ni tested ni raruta wera wega ngai wa moyo arathime mumembo huyo atutamuita hapa sawa sawa lakini yes in our ministry yes in our ministry ngai arathime mumembo huyo amwe inge nyinge nigetha aotage gutaithia kanitha wa makandara mutungatiri ukoere koere family ino yanite kiyo giki mutungatiri hoera family ino yanite kiyo giki ni kiyo kiu kwa maika in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit we set apart this watch to be used to keep time before this congregation and to set appointment in the right way in a mechanical way we, we set it apart from other uses to be used only for this church in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit tunakushukuru mwenyezi Mungu baba wetu wa mbinguni kwa familia na wale ambao walitoa mali zao wakanunua kisa iwe kama chombo kinatumika katika kanisa ili tuweke kuweka muda wetu na masaa yetu na baba tunakabili mikononi mwako katika kazi ambazo umewapea na maisha yao kuendelee kujitolea kwa kazi zako na pia kwa njia zote ambazo wanatumia ili waweze kupata riziki zao sibariki biashara zao wao wameajiriwa kazini au kwa njia yote ambayo unayotumia ili wapate riziki zao. Kuabariki baba na utusaidie hata kipi hata sisi zote kujitolea kwa ajili yako. Na hata kuona mahitaji ya kanisa hili kama huyu uliwaongoza. Kwa sababu ni mengi ambao tunahitaji kama ukiangalia we don't have enough screens. Wengine tunateseka kuangalia na kuona. We can also touch the lives of other people. Na kujua nyingi kama hizo na tumepokea hii kwa Yesu Kristo na Amen. Amen. Now kwa shiriki wa makandara nyinyi ambao Mwenyezi Mungu anampenda jinsi hii kaeni katika wema wake. Tunamuombea amani ya Mwenyezi Mungu ambayo inapita akili ya mwanadamu iendelee kuhifadhi mioyo yenu katika kumujua na hata kumpenda. Nazo baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu ziwe nanyi ziwe kwa, kwenu ziandamane nanyi mkiwa makazini kila mahali ambako mtakuwa amani ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Na ni kutoka sasa na hata milele. Amen.
Uh, tumefika mwisho wa ibanda yetu. Asante kwa sababu ya kufumilia na kutulia. Umekuwa kazi ngumu kidogo na masaa lakini Mungu ataendelea kutubariki. Tuwe na wiki jema kila mmoja wetu uh, na tuleme kuhukumia. Thank you. Sasa ni wakati wa kutoka ile wimbo ambao tutoka naye ni ile tulikuwa tu, tumalizie yote na mtolea ama uniongoze aidha Yeah. 